Hello. How is everybody doing? I figured we all needed a little bit of a nostalgic Pokemon music. Thank you for 1K mix. I'll share the video. Um, I love, love this playlist. I feel like it's just all my favorite songs. So good, so good. Hello, welcome in. Welcome in all our new people. I saw we had a couple of newbies in here. Um, just wanted to say hi, and um, hope you guys are all having a good day. I am really happy to be streaming today. And guess what? I'm gonna be streaming tomorrow as well because I missed yesterday. I needed, needed to take a mental health day, you guys. Um, I absolutely just was not feeling good. And oh my God, look at Tiny, he's so cute. Hello, baby boy. Oh, kidding. He said, fuck you, bitch. Um, but. <laughs> I broke my foot by tripping on my own foot. This stream is much needed. Whoop. <laughs> Hi. Whoop. Ah! Oh my God, that's so funny. No way. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh God, I'm so sorry that you're going through that, but um, you know what, shit happens, so whoop. Um, I have to give a big thank you as well to Hummus Vibes for the whoop whoop at the beginning of stream. Thank you so much for the five months, as well as Millie Mae, thank you for five months. What? Napoleon? Yeah, thank you so much for the three months. And Mama in Awakening, thank you so much for the sub. Welcome to the sub club. Thank you, thank you for joining us, Mama. Um, yeah, so I took a little bit of a mental health day um, because, you know, I just needed to take like a moment away from like the news and stuff and just being online, you know, like being online is obviously very stressful when horrible tragedies happen. Um, and like, I just needed to kind of separate myself from the news cycle for a moment. So I'm really happy that I did that. And um, yeah, no, I'm feeling really good um, today. I do have a couple updates on some things that have been happening um, in Lissy World. Um, okay, so on Wednesday, EJ Plays was in town, as you guys maybe know or maybe saw. Um, EJ was in town, and so I got to hang out with them, and I was really, really excited about that. Um, I just have to say, like, EJ is so fucking cool. I don't know. Like, okay. First of all, I loved, I loved meeting EJ's partner, Dustin. That was so fun. Like they were both just like such a ray of sunshine. And, um, so yeah, that was really fun. I had a really, really good time hanging out with them and like meeting them for the first time, like in person. Um, so that was awesome. And yeah, we went out, we had a couple little drinkies, um, after they finished watching the survivor finale. <laughs> Which it's like, yes, I, I just love that they do that. And like, I don't know, I don't get to until months later because of cable, but <laughs> eventually. I just think like, oh my God, that was so fun. It was such a good time. And um, yeah, we had uh, just a blast. Um, I always get nervous after I hang out with people that they think I'm like insane and don't like me anymore. So EJ, if you can confirm that you like me, that'd be cool. But <laughs> um, yeah, it was really, really fun. And um, then yesterday I took a little bit of a break from the internet during the day. All I did actually during the day was play crossword. Um, I played crossword like all day. I got like a new little crossword app on my phone. And so that's what I did to unplug from the internet was play crossword on my phone. Yeah, just it, it, it's so cool. Um, and that was fun. And then last night, oh, I didn't put any pictures anywhere of this last night. So um, in case you guys don't know my boyfriend, Carson, um, he did not too long ago. He was on a Netflix thing for uh, Chef's Table. And um, they shot here. I don't know if you guys are familiar with Chef's Table. I love it. I think it's such a good show. It's so pretty. It's like it's like art. It's cinema, darling. It's food cinema. Uh, but he did an episode of Chef's Table that was here for a chef called Chris Bianco. I think that's his name. I, I could totally be wrong. Uh, but we went to one of his restaurants last night. And uh, we went with like, because we made reservations like forever ago um with his sister and her husband so that's what we went and did um i'm trying to find 
I just want to post this in the appropriate channel, please. Okay, thank you. Okay, post. Um, so that I can show you guys on the Discord. But it was really, really good. It was like Italian. And you know what? Normally, like, going to an Italian restaurant is... It's little mid-skis, I would say. I don't know why. Like, I just feel like Italian food, like... It's just so, oh my God, this is so good. <gasps> Who is this, two? I made this cake the other day, very proud of my first two-tiered cake. You slayed. No way, that is so good. I wish I had even an ounce of this talent. Are you kidding me? That's awesome. Um, but, so like with Italian restaurants, I just feel like I have such a bad experience at Italian food because like it always sucks. So like last night was really, really fun to go and do a little bit of like a, a Italian a fun time. Okay, this was the, so we got like, um, we got like three courses, right? I think so. Three courses. Um, and okay, my cocktail, I had like a mezcal, like margarita type of drink. It was really good. It was really yummy. It had like a grapefruit in it. Also, okay, so we got this like trout. It was really interesting. It was like a smoky little trouty. And I had a bunch of, I took the shittiest pictures by the way, okay? Please forgive me. I like totally kept forgetting that I wanted to take pictures before I started like eating stuff. <laughs> um, but to you're in chat. That cake was amazing. That was awesome. Have I ever been to Europe? I've never ever been to Europe. Um, so like my Italian food knowledge is obviously not very good, but yeah, I've never been to Europe or anything. I've never been to Italy. Um, and the couple times that I go to Italian restaurants, I just feel like I have a bad time. It's like not very good. Um, so I just like don't really like love Italian food that much. But last night it was really good. We had like, so they did like this trout and it kind of looks like it's got like mayonnaise on it, but it doesn't. <laughs> at first I was like, you know, looking at it, but I was like, uh, let me try it. Had a really interesting sauce. This isn't tomato. It's actually like grapefruit or something. I don't actually remember what it was. It was some kind of some kind of fruit, and then it had greens on it. But I already ate all the greens because the greens were really good. I would take a whole salad of like just those greens that they had on there. Um, of course, they had the bread, and then this was like a like a I don't even fucking know. It was a meat. You know what I mean? It's not like prosciutto. I don't know if it's a capicola. I don't know, I used to work for a place that had charcuterie, and so I kind of knew what it was, but I don't think I ever Love actually had it before. Bestie. Oh, hey, Saul! Thank you so much for three months! Yay! Thank you, thank you! I love and appreciate you. Thank you, thank you. Iberico, that's something I'm familiar with. I don't think it was... I don't know, I don't know, but it was really really delicious it had these raisins with it too the raisins were stellar it had pickled shallots or some shit anything pickled i'm a slut for anything pickled so that was really good and then um so we had the trout and then that thing for our appetizer course and then we had um two different types of pastas so this one was like a spicy spaghetti you know it's a spicy spaghetti and it was like um it was like a family style so we like got everything like and split it all and then we had pff, why is this like such a cursed picture i don't know why i take like the horse pictures i'm sorry <laughs> But we also had like a ravioli. I, I don't know. I don't know anything. But it was really good. It was stuffed with like, I think ricotta. Ricotta. It was stuck to, stuffed with something and it was really delicious. And then I didn't take a picture of, I don't know why I didn't take a picture of the main course. But we got like these pork chops with peaches on it. And that was pretty good. I liked it. I This was me attempting to take some sort of picture. Um, I think I was taking a picture of just like the bread and the olive oil, which is like So good. I don't know. I could have just eaten that and been happy. The olive oil was so good uh, But yeah, there was no main course pick apparently um, And then we got like a lemon pound cake for dessert and it was really really fucking good I love to do like fancy, you know but honestly, we were really shocked at the end of how much it cost. It was not as much as we were nearly even expecting. <laughs> we believe you. Thank you. <laughs> it was really good, I promise. Um, it was so good that I forgot to take a picture. Huh? But we were really, I guess, expecting it to be a lot more, and it was a lot less than we thought. And we had a gift card. It was sick. 
it was awesome. Um, and so if you guys ever are in Phoenix, you should visit Trotto. That's what it was called, and it was delicioso. Mmm, delicioso. So yeah, um, that's what I did, and it was really super fun and um, relaxing and just like such a good time. You know, I just needed a little bit of me time. Yeah, right? You know what I'm saying? But um, what else? What else is going on? So, <laughs> ew, I wanted to talk about this. Um, I wanted to talk about this, but I want to talk about this first. Okay. I have a grand master plan for some content and I need you guys to tell me if you're into it or not, okay? Eating calamari at Italian restaurants, actually. I heard that calamari, most calamari is like pig intestines or something. And it's not actual, what is it? Little octopuses? <laughs> octopuses. Um, I remember I got in trouble at school once because I thought it was funny to say that the plural of octopus in class was octopussies. And um, <laughs> I remember I got in trouble. I think that was like, what, like seventh grade or something? It's seventh grade humor. I still have the same humor. Anyways, uh, but uh, sorry that I had to say that. I don't know. Those big intestines are good as hell. I think that that's a lie. Like I must have read that on the internet somewhere because that sounds ridiculous, doesn't it? Doesn't it sound ridiculous? Anyways. Um, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm gonna move on to my brilliant content idea. So since we're like 99% pos 99 positive the next Sims 4 game pack is gonna be werewolves, should we make a Vampire Diaries household? Okay, here's the thing though, here's the thing, is now I have to get the Vampires pack, of course, I do not own it. I was thinking I have to get the Realm of Magic pa pack so I can make a spellcaster so I could do like Bonnie in the household, you know what I mean? And then the werewolves pack is presumably coming out. I think we're all like, just, I think it's just pretty obvious that that's what it's going to be with the way that they're hinting at it. I think like the first hint was like, um, they put out some cutesy little trailer and they were like flipping through the channels. And one of them was like a werewolf from the Sims through Supernatural or something. You know what I mean? And so I don't own any of the other two packs, but if I get werewolves, right, if that is what the pack is, um, then we could totally make a Vampire Diaries household. But the thing is, I have never played the vampires and I've never played the spellcasters. So I think in the next like week, couple weeks, we need to do some uh, Sims 4 streams where I play these packs for like the first time with you guys and you guys can kind of show me the ropes and we can figure it out together so that I kind of like know what's going on. You know what I mean? <laughs> Watch the fuck out of that, but I think I am that exact niche audience. I think it'll be so fun. I think it'll be so fun. But yeah, I have to like get the other packs and like learn how to do them and stuff like that. So yeah, we could definitely um, do that on stream, I think. Play some Sims 4 packs. I do have two Sims 4 video ideas that I'm trying to execute, and I don't, I don't have a plan of like when these are gonna happen, but the two Sims 4 packs that I'm thinking of are, um, uh, okay, here's the idea. I tried to play Broken Sims 4 packs. That's like the overarching video, whoa. <laughs> the overarching video idea is um, I played Broken Sims 4 packs and the first one that comes to mind is Dine Out because everyone says that's broken, don't have it. And the second one is the My Wedding Stories because people say that that one is a little bit broken. Um, but I don't know if it's still broken or not or what's going on with that. So yeah, I think that that could be really fun for us to try to do. So that is um, future content coming soon. Vampire Diaries Household Sims 4. It's going to get saucy. It's going to get fun. <laughs> we could also do a Twilight. Like we could also do a Twilight thing as well. Like I I also would be so down for that. My favorite pack for The Sims 4 is... Ooh... Um, I am pretty frugal when it comes to buying and like playing packs. Uh, call me gloomy. Thank you so much for the follow. I am not like super, uh, I don't know. I don't like, I don't own a lot of them because I'm pretty picky on what I will buy. Um, what I do own is parenthood, get together, city living, and I bought 
Snowy Escape and Dream Home Decorator, which both are flops. Um, I think my favorite one out of all of those is City Living, just because with City Living, I just love living in like the city environment. And so like, I'm, I'm just gonna get it. Like, you know, it's that simple for me. I like the city. Um, I like the apartments. I like how they work. I don't have a problem with anything like that. Um, and then I liked Get Together as well. The world Windenburg kind of got a little boring to me because I wasn't like super into it like aesthetically or anything. Um, and all the people that live in the world are kind of boring to me. Um, I do like city living. So, um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> city living is great. Okay, and you heard that wedding stories is still broken as hell. Okay, so what... What do you guys think is the best way to go about this? Should I do the wedding stories video first or the dine out video first? I think I should try to do the wedding stories one first and I think that would be really fun. Okay, I also wanted to talk about this. Look at this disgusting DM that Tiger got. Okay, this is so, this is so funny. Um, <laughs> this person's like just all up in her DMs just doing, sending things like, sorry, I know it's very small. We could, oh, see, it's it's not going to let me do anything I want. We could be kissing right now, but you're on the other side of the screen, which is kind of rude. Second TikTok. You, you bold, huh? What the fuck does that mean? I'm sorry. Send this to somebody you want to fuck. <laughs> Okay, so I don't get that many DMs like that or anything. I, you know, I like to think that I'm hot and I'm sexy, but um, it's not like I want people to be in my DMs all like that, but I'm like, hmm, I could probably get more messages like that. Uh, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. It's weird and I don't like it, but um, <laughs> like if we're being honest, uh, Aki Planky, thank you so much for the follow. But, um, I don't know. Okay, so I'm fairly confident I know who this is. <laughs> I'm fairly confident I know who this is based off the little bit of the profile picture you can see. And they do the same thing to me as well. And um, you know what? It's just like, I, this is what I said about it. Do people who send unsolicited DMs like this think we're going to reply and be like, oh my god, yes, daddy, I've been waiting for you my whole life. That's what I, th I think it's like, hmm... You know, it's just, it's a little bit like, like, why, what do you think is going to happen? Like, you know what I mean? I don't know if it's just something that maybe, uh, I don't know. I really don't know. It, it's just, it, maybe it's just the, the, the messaging part that's like hot and sexy to them. I don't even know. I just thought it was cringe and kind of hilarious <laughs> city living's great hate the wedding stories one because it doesn't even work in most parts i'm so excited to make a video that's like playing broken sims four packs i feel like that'd be so fun no one ever slides to my dms either and i'm grateful also like damn do people not realize i'm hot ah! <laughs> i'm like don't ever don't ever slide in my dms <laughs> oh and then leona i love this picture of the merch today thank you so much for posting this this is so i'm crying this is so cute this is like the perfect most beautiful picture it's so elegant the staging um i love i love it so much all of the list the last match i just set out a bunch of a um, bunch of stuff yesterday and then I will be sending out a couple more packages tomorrow. Thank you guys, everybody, for all the support on the merch line on listelash.com. Let me see. Let me look it up. Listelash.com. Bum, bum, bum. Ba -na -na. Still available. If anybody's interested, um, you know, the bucket hat's sold out, rip. But... We do still have the Tiny Crossing Dad hats in both the yellow and the pink. The yellow and the pink. 
And then we have the List the Last art print, of course. I love this collab with Jesse Hanna. It was amazing. It was amazing. It's so beautiful. And we got pins. We got the pins. Um, and they have the little bell on the bottom of them, which is so cute. But yeah, um, I think that's it. That's all I had to do in terms of catching up. Today's stream planned. So we're going to be playing Stardew Valley. We're going to be continuing our epic saga of the vegan, cruelty-free um, farm, <laughs> which is exciting. I really, really love this save because it's so unique and it's been very difficult. Um, so we'll go into that in a second here. Leaflin, yo, thank you so much for six months. It's so nice to see you. Thank you so much for being here and being awesome. Uh, but we are going to be doing the vegan farm today for a couple hours, and then after that, we're going to be doing um, drinking and driving in Le Mario Kart. So that's very cool and awesome and fun for us, right? So yes, um, stay tuned. Look forward to that if you want to drink and drive in Mario Kart. Drinking and driving is okay when you are playing Mario Kart. You know what I mean? But don't drink and drive in real life, right? Oh, Sun-Dried Olive, thank you. You're so sweet. Lane got a pink hat and the pen at the moment. They're hiding in my closet because I broke my boyfriend's nose. No! Ah! I'm sorry, I hope I didn't expose you. <laughs> oh, that's so awesome. I That's so funny. <laughs> Sold out, that's amazing. I know, it's really cool. I'm really happy about that for the bucket hats, for sure. Got both the bucket hats yesterday. Yes, Delaney. Did someone just sign in your Insta DMs? Whoms? Maybe. I mean, let me see. <laughs> um, if you guys want to slide in my DMs, make me feel good about myself. <laughs> no, Steph. Wait, how do we go? Okay, request. There we go. <laughs> I have to make it big. <laughs> okay, nothing else is showing. Thank you so much for sliding into my DMs. It makes me feel good about myself. Let's cut to the chase. I will pay you $10 to step on my balls. Do you know who this is? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, babe. He yeah. just got me Starbies. No um, way. They didn't have the sandwich. Got the egg bites. Thank you. That was oh my God, I love you. Starbies oh, check. Step on my balls. Step on my balls. <laughs> Okay, this is Mod Ash from Old School RuneScape. <laughs> anyways, anyways, thank you, Sam, for pulling up the merch link. If you guys want to check it out, only if you want to. Only if you want to. Whoa, Buggle, thank you so much for coming. I'm sorry that I've been like a little all over the place with stream lately. I am just all over the place in general, and I need to protect, protect my mental. Protect my mento. Notion in the DMs? No, it's not the real Notion. I got very excited about that too. Um, it's somebody who is a graphic designer. Graphic designer. Graphic designer. Off brand Agatha Harkness. Thank you so much for the follow. Uh, but Bay brought me Starbies and egg bites. I had a horrible, <gasps> I had a horrible experience this morning when I was making breakfast. I was trying to make, I have these little frozen diced potatoes that I buy, the frozen diced potatoes, and I was going to do um, like a potato and egg and cheese burrito, right, for breakfast. I thought that sounded so good. So I go and I fry up my potatoes, which mind you, takes a long time, okay? It takes a minute to fry up potatoes. Um, it's no easy task, I'll tell you what. And so I was frying up my potatoes, and then I go and I pour my eggs in, and then I go and I add my cheese. But at this point, everything else is prepped, loaded, ready to go, so that I can assemble these burritos. Tell me why I add the cheese. I walk away, 
and I come back and it smells rancid. It was horrible. It was, ugh, it was so disgusting. They were, they were rotten. It was gross. And it ruined my morning because I was so excited to eat these little burritos. Ah. So I told Carson, I was like, I'm not making breakfast anymore. And then I was like, ah, I really wish somebody would go to Starbucks for me. I really wish that somebody would go pick up Starbucks. Hmm, it'd be so nice if somebody went and got me Starbucks. And then I did that enough times to where he decided that he was going to go to Starbucks. <laughs> that line would not work on my boyfriend. He's mad at me, like I can tell. But I think now that he has a little Starbies, he's probably okay. <laughs> like He's probably like, well, I did that. Now I can enjoy the rest of my day. Don't have to worry about this bitch. This needy little bitch. <laughs> Manifesting or whatever. Okay, I'm gonna eat a little egg bite. I don't think there's anything else that I had to talk about besides this right here. Let's get to the chase. I will pay you $10 to step on my ball. <laughs> that is so funny that this is the fucking guy from old school RuneScape. <laughs> he does give Report of the Week vibes. Who I love. I would let Report of the Week step on my balls. Let me boot up the do. I hope there's no update or anything to my mods. I can't do that. I can't do it. I will not. I refuse, actually. I refuse. Up to date on the game. What about... No updates, slay. Oh. I'm not doing all of that. No, I'm good, actually. I'm good. <laughs> ah! Okay, um, let's see. So we got PC gamers. Capture in the game. Great, grand, beautiful. Can we hear the game, though? I don't think so. Perfect. Perfect, darling. All right, um, you know what I've got to do is I've got to turn off the Pokemon music and I'm so sorry. I know that we're vibing, um, but it's time to do some do. Dude, okay, can we chill? I need you to get small for a second. Rumini. Yeah, he's just criminy. All right, guys, we're transitioning into Sturdy Valley. Let me tell you a little bit about Vegan Farm. So, a Vegan Farm is a farm that we have started very recently in our um, Stardew Valley saves. So I do a Let's Play on YouTube, and that's something that I think a lot of people are familiar with, but I am saving that for YouTube. If you're not familiar with it, you should definitely check it out. Um, it's been a really fun Let's Play. That one is the one where I am um, doing the... Remixed Bundles Community Center within the first year. Um, so that's a really fun one. If you wanted to check that out, that is on the list the last YouTube channel. And then Brocco List is our vegan farm save. So let me tell you a little bit about vegan farm. If you have any questions, shout them out. Vegan farm <clears throat> is a Stardew Valley Let's Play that is stream only. So I'm only playing this with you guys on stream on Stardew Fridays. It's very epic. It's very awesome. So with the vegan farm, I am not allowed to produce animal products. I'm not allowed to make them myself and I can't sell any animal products or anything if I come across them. 
Um, no animal products will be produced by moi. However, I'm still trying to do the community center. So if I see certain things in the traveling cart, like milk, eggs, stuff like that, um, I am allowed to buy it from traveling cart or you know from other places, depending on what the item is. I'm allowed to buy it, but I am not allowed to like make it myself. Another thing too is that we are cruelty free, baby. We are cruelty free. And I think another part of being vegan is no fishing. So I'm not allowed to go fishing. No fishing at all. Um, so that makes it very difficult. I don't know if there's gonna be a point where we're like, okay, you know, it's, uh, there's a couple things that I'm not able to get. Maybe I'll be allowed to go fishing and then throw the fish back in, the ones that, you know, I get that aren't the fish that I'm looking for for the community center. But that is a problem for a later me and a later day. Now for, Another thing that is a part of our cruelty-free cruelty, cruelty free part of the save is I am not allowed to kill anything, including monsters in the mines. It's been a little bit difficult. It's been a rough road, okay, being in the mines. But now I think we are, we're slowly chipping away. I can't go and I can't do like a buttload of floors in one day. It's very rare that that happens to us. Um, there was a moment last time that we did a Stardew Valley stream. There was a moment. Oh, I keep forgetting that I want to make like a clip highlight of this. I'm just so behind on shit, you guys. Um, but uh, there was a moment where I did end up doing a no-no. And I accidentally killed a bug in the mines. So I had to restart the whole day and start all over. It was a mess. It was a mess. You know what I mean? Uh, but yeah, no, that is on Clips the Last if you guys wanted to watch it. I want to actually make like a clip of it so that I don't sound insane when I'm trying to explain things. But yeah, if you guys want to check it out. Mmm, egg bite. Okay. Bulls. <clears throat> Thank you, Pink Unicorn, by the way. I appreciate you. What is under the banner of heaven? Oh, that's the one. That's the one with the Andrew Garfield, right? On Hulu. Immediately forwarded to his Mormon friend to watch. Okay, does anybody know about this Mormon swinger drama that's happening in the Mormon TikToker community right now? I have been trying so hard to keep up with that, but it's so difficult because all of these Mormon TikTokers look the same. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's a real thing. Okay, you know what? Do we need to do we need to get caught up on the Mormon TikToker drama? <laughs> no, we should play Stardew, but I'm just saying, there is there is a group of Mormon adjacent TikTokers. They are not Mormon, you guys. They are not Mormon. They might have been raised Mormon, but these people, they do not align themselves with the values of the church at all. I think that real Mormons would probably laugh at them. Um, I'm not a real Mormon, though, so I don't know. But there's this group of TikTokers called like Mom Talk or something, right? Is that what their group is called? Their group is called Mom Talk. And you know who you guys need to go watch? Let me pull up let me pull up their TikTok real quick cuz they do they did like a synopsis of it. It's a little hard to follow cuz they literally do all look the same. Gossiping Viv. Gossiping Viv, like V I V like Vivian. Gossiping Viv. Go go and watch their TikToks um because like the Mom Talk people are like responding in her comment section and stuff. It's like insane. Uh but so this basically this one girl named Taylor, she's the one with the brown hair, <laughs> the only like brown hair one, I promise. But this one girl named Taylor, she was like, hey, guys, like I'm getting divorced. And she's an influencer, a part of this kind of like TikToker group. Um, hey, guys, I'm getting divorced and stuff. Going to be a single mom soon and like alluding to all of these things. And then rumors started circulating that she cheated on her husband. And that's why they're getting a divorce. Um, keep in mind, all these people have kids, but they look like 19. It's so weird. It's so weird, you guys. So, um, and it's like weird because like Mormon culture is just like, it, it's about being married and having children so like insanely early. It's like 
it drives me nuts. Um, but yeah, they're all like super young looking and everything. And it's just like weird. It's like, it's weird to like place these people as like mommy bloggers, you know? Uh, cause they just look little, like it's so strange to me, but, um, <clears throat> they, the girl, she was like, I'm going to come clear the air on a video or something. And she goes on Instagram live for like 30 minutes. And she's like, I'm coming out as a soft swinger. Me and my husband, before we're getting divorced, we were soft swingers. And what a soft swinger is, is everything but sex. Um, so they would have like swinging parties and stuff that she would, she would say swinging is not, it's abnormal in the Mormon community, but a lot of people do it. There's a lot of swinging that it happens because you know it's just such like a prude culture it's bound to happen right uh but and i you know we've got a little bit of history with polygamy you guys we've got a little bit of history in there uh so she was like i'm coming out as a soft swinger me and my husband were soft swingers i um did not but then i think she was like i did not cheat with da 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 but I guess what happened and why she got divorced. And I don't know if she said this or if this was just speculation um, or if somebody else said this, but um, she was like, um, but uh, what I think people are thinking is what happened and why she's getting divorced is because she had sex with somebody that they were swinging with. And that was like a no, no for them because it was like soft swinging or whatever. So now all these like people that are in this big TikTok group and like, you know, in this social circle are coming online to like clear their name, but also deny being swingers and stuff because like, I think they're probably just embarrassed and like some of them, I think align themselves with the church more than like others and everything. So yeah, I don't know. It, it's just like everyone's trying to protect their reputation and they're all getting on TikTok talking mad shit about each other. There's this one couple um, where the girl, the wife, she is in pictures with Taylor, like sexy, naughty pictures were leaked of them. And she's trying to say like, oh, that was just us having fun at a bachelorette party when it's like, girl, that is not what that, if you see the pictures, you guys, that is not what that is. And so, yeah, no, it was like really crazy um, because everybody's just kind of coming out and talking shit about each other now. Now it's really hard to keep up, right? It's really, really hard to keep up. Um, but yeah, uh, it's it's super interesting, right? Super interesting. Not sure, but polygamy is a thing within the fringes of Mormonism, not Orthodox, but fringe. Oh yeah, no, for sure. I, I don't think I ever said that. Um, it's it was a his it was it was part of Mormonism like maybe a, a hundred years ago, like where it was never actually like explicitly said that it was okay, but there was a lot more like outwardly polygamous groups back in the day than there was, than there are now or anything like that. Um, but yeah, no, it's not something that happens typically. Um, and it's not normal. Like you can't be like, oh, Mormons are polygamous. That's not, that's not a hundred percent true at all. Um, but a lot of Mormons are swingers. A lot of them. Not most though. But there's a lot more than you think. But, oh my god. The whole thing is just crazy to me. Anyways, you guys should look at it. Look at Gossiping Viv's page. It's so hard to keep up. It's so hard to keep up with everything that's going on. Just because, like, they all literally look the same. <laughs> it's so, it's so, like, they all are, like, like thin, young, blonde, white women with long, beachy waves. Okay. Think people in France are wearing beachy waves. <laughs> um, but yeah, it, the whole thing is like really crazy because yeah, she's like coming out and saying all this stuff about like these people that, you know, not necessarily like hold themselves to a higher standard because it's pretty obvious if you look at like how they're like um, supposed to be Mormon and just the way that they act, dress, um, all sorts of things like that. It's like, mm, I don't think you're aligning yourselves with the church as much as you think you probably are. Um, and I have a feeling most people that are like actually Mormon would be like, mm, yeah, these, these guys are kind of crazy. Uh, but <clears throat> it's all just so interesting, isn't it? Uh, it, it's, a, it's an interesting drama because it's like, they're definitely farming it, at least the Taylor girl. And a lot of them are using it like 
are finding ways to be like vague on TikTok and stuff like, oh, I want to spill the tea. I want to spill the beans or whatever. And um, then they won't do shit about it because they're just trying to get like TikTok clout. You know what I mean? But the rest of it is like super interesting. Why are we not giving them a Real Housewives of Salt Lake? Why are we not giving them a Real Housewives of Salt Lake? I bet you it's insufferable. I bet you they just suck. Watch all the BYU TikToks. What um BYU TikToks? Um, shoo, shoo, nee. Thank you so much for the follow. I'm sorry if I'm not like interpreting that right. <clears throat> no lie, no judgment towards Mormons, but literally just driving through Utah freaks me the F out. I was talking to EJ and Dustin about this and I was like, cause they were like, oh, like we're gonna drive through Utah or whatever. And I was like, oh, Utah is so, so, so pretty. And like every time I've been like Utah is just, ugh, it's the shit. It is so beautiful. It's like unlike anything I've ever seen before driving through Utah, especially from Arizona, because you hit like these plains and then like the Bryce Canyon. And then, you know, when you're in Provo, then it's like the big ass mountain. It's like I've never had a mountain like literally fucking 90 degrees. Like It's so like crazy. The geography of Utah. But like. Utah itself sucks. And then we were talking about like how there's like a huge gay scene in Salt Lake. Like Salt Lake is like really popping and really fun for the gays. Um, probably not a lot of other places there. But yeah, apparently there's a huge thriving gay community out there. And I've always wanted to go and check it out. But um, I haven't been back since I was like 20, I think was the last time I went. So I didn't go out to like any bars or anything. But God, it's just so fucking beautiful. Oh my God. I, okay. Part of me is like, when I am old, <laughs> when I'm old, I'll, you know what? I'll fuck around and be Mormon for a second. I'll go move to Utah just because it's so pretty. It's like the most beautiful state I've ever been to. It's gorgeous. <laughs> I'll fuck around and be Mormon in my old age or something. <laughs> I can't imagine. I would know. No, they would not probably let me in. <laughs> are we talking about Utah? Yes, we're talking about Utah. And you are the gay community, Jules. You are. Okay, we have the flower dance coming up, so that's really fun. Um, we're on day 23 of this Let's Play, which is great. I don't think... Okay, so yeah, it's Tuesday. It's Tuesday, in it? I have some green beans. How are we doing on our community center? I know. I'm sorry. I'm going to play Stardew instead of just talking about the fucking Mormon swingers. Um, artisan bundle, quality crops bundle, chillin', 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 chillin'. Summer crops is coming up. We've got five more days, so I feel like we should just kind of like blaze through these five days, um, do what we can in all sorts of various areas, various Crafts room, exotic foraging. I need to put tappers on trees so that I can get this. I don't remember if we did that last time, but yeah. And then like these are all seasonal, right? So we're chilling. Fish tank, we actually were able to get a couple fish from the um, traveling cart. So we've gotten an eel. Pretty nice. Crab pot. Oh, we've, uh, we've gotten uh, the, the puffer fish. <laughs> We got into the buff of fish. And um, somebody else told me in the comments of one of my VODs, shout out if this was you, one of my VODs, somebody was like, you need to be checking your trash cans. And I'm like, girl, I forgot. Like, I, I keep forgetting that that's totally a thing. And so you guys have to remind me, get in the trash where you belong. All of this stuff is like, meh, whatever, we'll figure it out. I think that in these next five days, we've got these coming up. Um, in these next five days, we can spend a decent amount of time in the mines and we'll just kind of go from there. You know what I mean? Got to be on the lookout for chub for sure. Chubberino. And then, yeah, all of that. Yikes. All right. Let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do today. We already watered our crops, which is great. Oh, and I do have one tree with a tapper, <gasps> two trees with a tapper. Okay. That's good. I could stand to do one more though. Where is, where is that? Oh, I don't have any wood. Oh, shall we chop some wood today? Shall we get chop, chop, chop in? Hello immediately. Have made a stream in months, Miss Conversing. Well, thank you so much for coming by. 
Watching clips last barely gave me my it's a struggle. It's a struggle out here. It's been a weird time of the year. Um, weird time of the year. Yeah, yeah. Weird time of the year because it's like people are doing school. People are getting busy. You know, I don't know. It's just, it, it, it's that time. Me, I'm feeling so lazy because it's so hot outside. I just don't want to do shit. Mm. <clears throat> Am I going to skip the flower dance? Maybe a better idea for first year. Hmm. Well, I don't have anybody who likes me. <laughs> like nobody likes me in Sturdy Valley. So, I mean, that's not a terrible idea to skip the flower dance, but I also kind of like to watch them dance. And I think it could be fun. Plum Lady, thank you for the follow. I think, you know, we'll decide. We'll decide when we get to that. It's probably in what, like one or two days? Hmm. What would you guys do? Would you guys be skipping? Would you guys be refraining from dancing? Hmm, I don't know. I don't know what I want to do. Okay, so what was I doing today, though? Like, I don't even really remember. Oh, did anybody see when I started my game? Is my hoe ready? Isn't my hoe at Clint's? I don't know. Since I'm already walking over there, why not? Why not just go? Oh, you're ready? When you're ready, come and get it. Shane, what what do you want going? <laughs> Don't be mean to me. I love the gender bend. Another um, end game goal for this farm is to marry everybody and have a uh, lesbian farm commune. And I turned all of the bachelors into bachelorettes because I can't stand when they're men. So that's gonna be great and fabulous and fun. Um. <laughs> So, uh, stay tuned. Look forward to that. Do you guys think that it's even... Ah! Uh, I thought it was gonna be ready. Damn, bummer. You know, I just wanna... I, I, I'm lost because, like, I haven't touched the save in a week. So I'm like, oh, God, I just don't remember what we're doing. But I think I got a... I think I got a grip. So, our copper hoe is being worked on. It's gonna be ready tomorrow. As long as tomorrow's not the flower thing. Uh, right? But our copper hoe is being worked on. Let me head back to the farm and then let's just go straight to the mines. There's not really much else that I can do um, since I'm not a fisherman. I am not a fisherman. <laughs> the rejection I got at your first day. <laughs> Never go to another one. Never again. Work schedule has been crazy lately, but we're slow enough for me to pop in. Yay, I'm happy to have you. How's everything going? How is everybody doing? Are you guys all having a good time? You guys just having a ball? Um, okay, so we'll bring Scythe and Pickaxe. Saga, thank you so much for the follow. Should I just bring these bean greens? Eh, sure, why not? I'll use them as a little energy source. And um, I'll bring these stairs. Just in case I need them, you know? Oh, you know what I just thought of too? Actually, I'm gonna leave the bean greens. I'm gonna leave them behind. Get rid of those puppies. All right, I think I'm ready. Let's just head on over. Let's just uh, waste a nice little day in the mines. I like being in there. I have to make sure I'm always paying attention um, to not kill anything. Because if I do, I will be very sad. <laughs> very, very sad. <laughs> Farewell, Jules. Thank you for coming. Oh my god, no. Sunday morning beef, I love that. <laughs> Thanks for uh, hanging while you guys are all working, you know? Sometimes it just, uh, just be like that. I love it. <clears throat> How about you guys just quit your jobs and become full-time list the last chatters? How many staircases are you bringing? Only two. I am out of stone. I am very stone low. I'm low on stone. Stone low. So I'm going to bring two with me and hopefully that gets me through it. You know, I didn't check my luck today either. That's kind of a bummer. But also, I like a good surprise. Oh, oh, there's a hole. I desperately need. Is this a craftable? You know, the ring that gives you light. Um, I don't have it at least, but I wonder, you know, I could I could torchy. Hmm. 
that's okay. You know, these levels, the ones that have really low light, there's not like a whole ton of them. So I think we're gonna be okay. We'll get through it. Oh, look at that. <gasps> he speaks. I was gonna say, can you pick those ones up? Just have one on me, you know, just in case I need it. Just in case. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Oh my God, look at that. Another stair. I will take this copper, thank you. I could get the other ones, but I kinda just want a GTFO. Mm. Unfortunately, rent ain't cheap. You guys should start a list the last chatters commune. Go live out in the forest. Get the best internet you can, okay? So that you can make sure that you're actively chatting. You guys make sure that you're here. And um yeah, I don't know. That just that that could just be your job and it'd be very cool and epic. <laughs> <laughs> just a thought, you guys, in case anybody wanted financial advice. Mmm. <laughs> sorry i'm eating egg bite god that's so decent <laughs> egg bites are so weird like they're good but i'm like i feel like i'm lying to myself when i say that i like them yeah at this point it doesn't sound bad entitled millennial i'll remember that your name is julia I'll remember. I'll try my best. I also love Entitled Millennial. I think you should change that to your name. Cole. Ah! Oh no, I don't like those guys. I don't like them. Get out. Let's go. Let's ride. Bam, 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 bam. Oh no, I hate when bats start coming at me because like I said, you guys, I am a pacifist. I am cruelty free. I am a veg and I am not allowed to kill them. So that's really stressful, especially since I can't see. That's okay, we're gonna get through it. We're gonna, oh, perfect, look at that. Let me grab this puppy and then I'm going, I'm going in. Level 40? Are you kidding me? How am I doing so good? Okay. Uh, somebody... Here's the thing. The slingshot, okay? The slingshot, I've never known how to even use it. Like, I literally could never, ever figure it out. So I never use the slingshot anyways, but it's not like I can because I'm a pacifist. Excuse me. That's on my goal. All my goals, though, is to figure out how to use the slingshot. Does anybody else have that problem? <laughs> I feel like you need a, a sauce or something like they need a little extra. They'd be probably pretty good with hot sauce. I'm going in dry. I am going in dry. Truly amazed you're at level 39 without killing anything. Well, except for that one time, but we don't talk about that, right, guys? We don't talk about that. Also, I feel like I've been getting really lucky just in general. Um. Oh, this is where... <sighs> Shit's gonna start taking forever because my pickaxe. Um, but yeah, I'm like really amazed too. At the same time though, there's been so many times where like I just have had excellent luck in the mines. So God bless, you know. God bless. Ah! I don't want to accidentally kill you. Get away from me. God, that's so stressful. I want that... I want that, but it's not worth it to, like, accidentally kill one of them. I don't know how much damage they can take. So, yeah, it's a no from me, dog. Oh, do nothing. Sorry. Eat leek. Leek arena. Hello, biblically accurate jester. Never have and never will learn how to use a slingshot. It's a, you know, it's a pipe dream for me because I don't, I've never been able to figure it out. <laughs> Too hard. Too hard for me. Okay. I gotta evade these slimes. Get away. 
from me and my family. Damn, there's fuck. Okay, this might be a good one to use my shit balls. This might be a good one to use my staircase on, but let's see. Let's see how much I can get away with here. Oh, there's a teardrop. There's a teardrop. I almost didn't even see that. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, should I just should I just go ahead and staircase it? Yeah, there's two of them now. Oh sh! Oh, I did it! I fucking hit him. Okay, no, I can't chance it. I can't chance it, you guys. I have to use the. I had to. I had to. It's an unfortunate truth. I just had to. If I would have accidentally hit him again, I probably would have killed him, and I would have been pissed. Pissed, I tell you. Would have been pissed. Probably find it in the wiki. Suck at Ginger Island stuff for real. Oh, what are you guys talking about? Skull cavity. Immediately, you're scared to play Stardew because it seems very dumb bitch phobic. I don't know anything about anything. It's like a lot of memorizing, but also like when you first start playing, you have that wiki attached to you at the hip. You have to, you know, because there's just so much information you have to ingest. And there's no way you can go through the game without knowing every little thing. So, you know, don't be ashamed. Don't be ashamed to be a little looker-upper. That's uh, the fun of it, too. Okay, check it out. 45. When we get to 50, I think I'm just going to cry. Because, <laughs> you know, it's not easy. Ah, shit. I shouldn't have been walking around. God, fuck you, bro. Okay, let me try this one again. Let me try this one again. I have one leak left. It's 5.50 p.m. on a Tuesday. Mine's going up on a Tuesday. Okay. Get away from me. I don't want to accidentally kill you. I do want to avoid... Oh, perfect! I was going to say, I'm going to avoid getting that bat to come at me. But, uh... Looks like I'm an expert pro. And got a staircase anyways. Good job, Liss. Good freaking job. Mine expert. I feel like those little fuzzy guys are like one hitters. It'd be probably pretty easy to fuck up if I accidentally hit one of them. They're so cute though. And don't they drop coal? Oh, no. Ooh, wait, let me get that and then we're going. Oh God. Hold on. <laughs> Don't get crazy, guys. Don't you dare. I already got a staircase. I was prepared for you. Oh. Oh. Mmm. Porridge. No, it's for um, Animal Crossing items. Gary puts it together for us because he's great and he loves us. Have as many staircases as possible for Skull Cavern. Definitely. Um, same for Ginger Island. Yeah, it takes a lot. It's... It drove me like insane trying to figure out like how am I going to get enough stone to make all these staircases, you know, like down the line. I think it'll be a little bit easier because I was trying to think about it. I'm like, OK, once we get to the quarry, which has like a whole reserve of rocks, that'll be kind of helpful, of course. Um, another thing, too, is that like with this vegan farm challenge, I don't really think I should be worrying too much about using my stone on staircases because it's not like I'm building a lot of buildings, right? And doesn't it take stone to make buildings? I was thinking about this the other day. I'm like, oh, you know what? It's not terrible, right? Like we can figure it out. But amassing the collections of stones is going to be difficult. We'll probably spend a lot of time just like in the mines, just ch ch, -ch chilling, getting stone. Oh no. Oh no, I'm exhausted. Can I eat anything? No, I don't have any more food. Damn, I should have gotten all those little barrels. I knew it. I knew I should have gotten them. Oh God. I was gonna get that, but those little guys, stop, get away from me. I don't want to hurt you. Copper. You guys, get away. 
Okay, hold on. My cat is trying to come in here. Tiny, wait just a second. I'm trying not to kill anything in the mines. All right, no food. Oh, I am not. Hello, this, these things will not get out of the way. I don't want to leave that iron. It won't let me go past them. Why won't it let me walk past those? Is that not bizarre? It like barely did. One iron left behind. Fuck! No staircases in vol volcano. <laughs> volcano. Volcano is gonna be really hard. I think I'm just gonna have to like tank up and be ready to take a shitload of damage when it comes to the skull. The desert is that? Is the desert the skull cavern? And what is the one that is? You know, there's like a little dungeon by the quarry. For some reason, I think that is called the Skull Cavern because, you know, those little flaming, flaming skull mans that are in there? I always get that confused. But the desert, I think, will be... Hopefully, we'll just be stocked up on staircases as much as we can. And then, um... What, what else was I talking about? Oh, yeah, the um, volcano. I just got to be ready to take a shitload of damage. Got to bring some, like, really high healing stuff if I can. Hi, cat. Hi. I said I want to say hello. And he's like, why can't I come to the party? Hello, Buster. Hello. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Everybody say hi. Hi, Busty. You look so handsome right now. Do you want to come lay in here? What are you doing today? What are your plans? Hmm? You just in here being so sweet? And then now he's like, okay, bye. That's it? That's all you wanted? You just wanted to see what I was doing? <sighs> Sorry. He didn't know what he wanted to do today. And I gotta keep the door closed a little bit so that Carson doesn't get mad at me. Because <laughs> I'm loud. He's such a little freaking sweet pea. I just love him. I love him so much. Anyways, let's go back to the do. Doing the do. I guess I gotta leave the mines. I'm all out of food, all out of hopes and dreams. It is 9.20 p.m., so we didn't do terrible. I think we got down, what did we get down to? Like 48 or something? What was it? I did not see, I was not paying attention. But, sorry, my nose is really itchy. Oh my God, tiny, you're killing me. But um, we got down. Baby, are you down, 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 down? Down. It was cool. Um, making decent progress, but tomorrow we're gonna get our hoe, faux show, put some stuff um in the museum. I guess we'll do. Yeah, we'll throw the frozen tear in the museum thing. I want to be able to unlock Krobus pretty soon here, so I'm trying to donate stuff you know responsibly donate responsibly um okay everything looks good let's go let's ride meow did i check this i did check this today okay we're good good night oh we made it 67 dollars ah. <laughs> Tiny pop cat, I, I should. What do I have right now? I have a, I have a tiny dumper and I have a tiny rainbow plus. I need a tiny pop cat. You're so right. Queen of Swiss, oh, in the kitchen with, with the, like a star frat. Uh, welcome back to the Oracle. Da 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 da. The spirits are displeased today. Um, partially cloudy with a light breeze tomorrow? Expect lots of pollen? What does that mean? Does that mean it's gonna be, like, windy? 
I don't even really know what that means. Water cat, water cat, mouth cat. Oh, Tiny's back. Everybody. <laughs> Tiny said, hey. What are you doing, Buster? What are you doing? <laughs> you gonna lay down? He's being difficult. I just love him. I love when he's difficult. He's such a sweet pea. Um, crops? Ugh, still no straws. Still no straws, guys. Did it say that my hoe was ready? I didn't even see. I was not paying attention. Why am I never paying attention? Did it say that my hoe is ready? Because if it's not, then we're going to have some problems, you guys. Hello, Libby. How's your day going? Named vegan, vegan farm beef. I named, yes, I named the farm beef farm. Shout out beef. <laughs> Brocco Liss is the name. And I don't know why we named the cat by beef, like bisexual beef. What is going on? <laughs> I don't even remember. Kind of fun though, kind of exciting. Your hoe is ready and waiting, thank you. Thank you so much, Brenna. If you're lying to me right now, I'm gonna be so mad. <laughs> um, potatoes, you can go in. I'm gonna sell that star potato. I'll keep this for when we go to the mines. Yes, 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 yes. Now let's take some geodes over. I should probably take the Omni geode. And, um, ooh, I can make a, I can make a bar. Spitting bars? Hmm. <laughs> I could make a gold bar too, so that means I could complete that bundle if I wanted to, which I do want to actually, so I'll do that. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. If I see Evelyn, I'll give her a tulip. And um Topaz. Topaz is not a community center thing? No, I don't think so. Frozen tier, I'm gonna give to the museum. Because I'm responsible. Celestial, thank you so much for the follow. I'm the reason it's by beef. <laughs> meal meal, care to explain. <laughs> it's your baby cat's second birthday today? No way. Happy birthday to your kitten. That is so sweet and so special. What is Tiny doing right now? He's licking. He said happy Love birthday. Your streams, Ms. Liss Cross Dumper. What? A warm spiegel? Thank you so much for three months. I appreciate you. Thank you for the dumper. Tiny, say thank you for the dumper. God, he's just so freaking cute today. What's going on? What is going on? Um, oh. Awkward. Awkward moment. Okay, um, I gotta get back on track. Let me go to Evelyn's real quick, actually, just because I, you know, I have this flower. I gave you a cookie, but I eated it. Just kidding. I guess I can't fucking go in there. Ah! Ah! Emily will like the topaz. I could definitely give it to Emily. I also think, I just want to double check and make sure. You know, like these bulletin board ones? I don't like remember all the stuff that's always in here. I just want to make sure like, okay, is that part of her bundle? Part of anybody else's weird bundle? The thing will shake, right? Somebody told me that and it saved my life and it will shake. But I just, you know, I'm skeptical. I never know. I never know for sure. But yeah, I could do that. Um, Let me in. Let me in! No, you're joking. It's the flower dance? Okay, I'll go. I'll go. We'll waste a day. Screw it. We'll waste a day. Fuck you! It won't let me in for real? Like, will it let me in anywhere? No. God damn it. That sucks balls. <clears throat> M-Sals, thank you. I appreciate it. If you want to know... I do have a list of all the mods on Lissy's blog if anyone's ever interested in what I use, but 
I do switch them around a lot, so let me know if you have any specific question. Mm. But we'll go ahead and we'll just uh, do the little flower dancey. I think it'd be fun. It'd be fun for us. <clears throat> oh, I want to buy all this. I want to buy all this so bad. <laughs> It's so cute. Shout. Oh, we could get a rare crow. Yeah, I'm gonna buy a tub of flowers. I think I'm allowed to. We fucking love Sam. We literally love Sam. I'm obsessed with Sam. Thank you for being so sweet and kind, Sam, and always taking care of us. Do you think maybe Abigail will want to dance with us? Let's ask. We have one star with her, or one heart with her. I really hate dancing in front of everyone. It's so embarrassing. Why don't you dance with me? Mom makes me do it. Ask Abigail to be your dance partner. Wish me luck, guys. That's flattering, but I'm gonna have to say no. No! She was my only hope. <laughs> That's okay. We'll start the flower dance. I think it'd be fun to watch. Let's do it. <clears throat> If you're doing perfection later, definitely not on this save. I am good. Would have been a good mining day. Lillian, I want to go to the flower dance. Is that a crime? Is that a crime? I don't think it's a crime. I think I am allowed to go and watch the flower dance, even if no one wants to dance with me. <laughs> and I think it would be fun. Um, but I forgot that everybody's a woman. I also forgot that, wait, why is, why are all of the modded ones, you know, like the whole row of the bachelors, why are they all skinty? They are all like snatched at the waist. That is so funny. <laughs> skinty mod. <laughs> well, I guess I can't get my hoe. That's okay. We'll do it tomorrow. And um, also we'll donate that. But let me go ahead and make a gold bar so we can just like get that one out of the way, you know? Um, and tomorrow when I wake up, I'll make a quapa. Sorry, I love you, babe. Sorry, cat's in and out. Sorry. <laughs> I know, I'll make a quapa tomorrow. Tub of flowers, where should I put you? I should probably put you right here. Just kidding. Right there. That's adorable. Guys, tell me that the tub of flowers wasn't worth it. Tell me it wasn't worth it, because it was worth it. It was so worth it. <clears throat> Post a photo of your kitty in the Discord. Ooh, later when I go potty, I'll do, I'll go through the Discord. I promise, because I want to see pet spam. I don't think I have any new tiny pics, but, you know, I could, I could try to come up with something. All right, cool. So, that is a good freaking haul right there. I have to sell this potato. I forgot to do that yesterday. So my hoe is ready today. Even though it was technically ready yesterday, I am trying not to be upset about that, but that's okay. We do have straws. We have straws today. Now, I think I'll have one more batch of straws right before the season's over. What do I know though? Nothing. At least one batch, a little batchy poo, of strawby poos. Gotta get my hoe. What else am I gonna do today? Donate some stuff. Let's get that all squared away, crossed off the board, before I start thinking of more things, because then I'm going to lose my mind, okay? Gonna lose my mind. Yeah. Check the art channel too. Oh, I will. I will. The tub of flowers is adorable. Have you played Rune Factory 5? I have not played Rune Factory 5. Um, I like Rune Factory in general, but I have not played Rune Factory 5 yet. Fun one as a Farmer Friday alternative. 
um, try variety. Yeah, I've definitely played like, um, I've played like Story of Seasons, the Friends of Mineral Town, and Pooh and stuff. Um, that could be fun, but you know, since we only get one day a week to do that kind of stuff typically, um, and since I've gone down in my stream schedule, I'm gonna have to veto that idea um, to do variety all the time, but like maybe occasionally, yeah, I could try it out. Thank you for the suggestion. Every four days, ah, oh, no. So I only get one straw harvest. Rip, ripperoni. Rip. Okay, let me in. Nine a.m. Oh boy, nine a.m. Copper hoe, a copper hoe for show. Coal. Blue guy. Kyanite. I have so many geodes. More coal. Always a welcome addition. The green guy. The jamborite. The green goblin. Oh, this guy. Alamite. You know, I'm not a gem person. I don't know. But I'm excited about these. Another green one. I think I've had this green one. Yeah. Petrified slime. That doesn't seem very vegan. Jag white. I am going to break these open as well. A, a little bowl of pink stuff. <laughs> Nico white and uh, fire opal. Sick, you guys. Sick. I have a bunch of stuff to donate now. How many things do I have to donate again in order to get the key? Does anyone remember the number? Boom. Boom. Bop. Bada bop boom. Pow. Oh, and one more. Nice. Uh, what's my reward? Starfruit seeds and a standing geode. You know what? I'm just gonna leave the standing geode in the museum. I think it'd be, you know, it's kind of cute. It's kind of like, eh. It's a, it's a museum thing. It's not a in my house thing. All right, cool. Got a bunch of stuff. 60? 60 items. Okay, so 60. Rune Factory 5 didn't catch me like 4 did. Maybe I'm just biased. I don't remember the last Rune Factory I played. But that's interesting. Re if Rebecca's here, I'm pretty sure Rebecca's playing, right? And really enjoying it. I could be wrong though. Oh, look at that. It is windy. And look, there is, there's all these little cherry blossoms in the tree, in the sky. <laughs> Fucking great. What am I even saying? What am I even saying? So, we're going to complete a Bundy. Anybody uh, super mega stoked about that? You know I am. Didn't even need to make a copper, apparently. Bundle complete. That one was easy. The blacksmith's bundle, what are you going to give me? Furnace, that's good. Okay, great. And then adventurer's bundle, eventually. Geologist bundle, we're working on it, right? We're working on it. Oh, and we unlock this puppy up here. Uh, this is all just money, right? Like, and this is the last one. 25, or 2,500, 25,000, 5,000. 10 G's. Yeah, it's all just monies. What do you get when you do this one? Bus repair. Bus. Who's driving this bus? Okay, cool. Yeah, slaying. Absolutely, positively slaying. You're mining in the Skull Cavern and got two prismatic shards in one day. Prismatic shards. That's kind of incredible. That's really good luck. Two in a day? Damn. Evelyn Smevelyn, I'm here for you. I have a gift. <gasps> this is absolutely marvelous. You're welcome. Everything else is getting sold. And it's Thursday. Traveling cart tomorrow, folks. It's only 11.20 a.m. What should I do? Should I just like go F around in the mines for a little bit? I'm not going to have like a ton of foodie foods to bring with me, but maybe a little something something. 
Reach the bottom of the mine. Ooh. What is the bottom of the mine? Like 120 or something? Mm. Pay him. <laughs> Pay him drives the bus. Uh, Pay him. <clears throat> you know what Pam likes to do? Drink and drive. You know what I'm going to do later? Drink and drive in Mario Kart. Just saying. Just saying. Why is my cat meowing at me? Shut up. <laughs> uh, another ferny. That's good. Very good. I could... Yeah, let me just, I guess, go to the mines for a little bit. Like, not super long, but... Just a little bit of time. I don't have a lot of food to bring with me. Because I'm not trying to, like, use all my food on myself at the moam. Oh, you know what? Could I craft... Uh, what is this? Field snack? No. I don't have any of those, I don't think. Yeah. All my corns go in the ground. Ho! Ho for that thing. What if it's an ancient seed? Would you guys flip? Would you guys lose your minds? Ancient seed. Ancient seed. Rock. Damn. Damn. Big bummer. Don't forget trash can. I keep forgetting it, Naomi. You're so right. I keep forgetting trash cans. Okay. Tomorrow I will be in the town. And I have to do the trash can. I I need somebody to like beat it in me. I swear to God. Like I'm not going to remember. Oh, why am I so bad? Trash cans. Trash cans. Sword. I am not bringing a sword, actually. Um, this is a vegan, cruelty-free run, and I am not killing any monsters. You're playing Mario Kart with bots right now to practice for later. That's sick. That's sick. Ah, oh, I should have brought my hoe for this one. God damn it. I always think I should bring my hoe to the mines, and guess what? I never do. I'm so bad. And also, there was no food on the way to the mines. That's such a bummer. Uh, maybe there will be some. Sometimes there's like little. Yup. Yup. This is Leak City. This is where leaks are at. Leaks are hanging out. All right, guys. Let's see how far we can make it today with like no food. We'll just go and we'll exist and have fun. Right? Um, no killing. No killing allowed. My Starbucks order today. <laughs> Well, I had Carson go to Starbucks for me because I was trying to make a burrito today, a breakfast burrito, and I fried up all my potatoes. I threw in my eggs, threw in the cheese, and the cheese was rotten. It smelled so, so bad. It was disgusting. I was so sad because it took me forever, right? Was trying to do that, got upset, and then I decided to um, persuade Carson to go to Starbucks. And he got me a brown sugar, you know, it's the brown sugar oat milk thing. <laughs> the brown sugar oat milk shake and espresso thing hat today. and Gonna egg bites. It off at the grocery store when no I'm way! Less than three. I'm so happy! Thank you, Rainy Day Loop. You're so sweet. I appreciate you so much. Thank you, thank you for eight months and for all the love and appreciation on the merchy. Hello, Crystal. How are you? Thank you for coming by. The chocolate cream cold brew with hazelnut is so good. I have never seen that before. Is that something that's like on the menu? If it don't have a picture, like I'm not ordering it. When I'm at Starbucks, like, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm so bad. I'm so, so bad. I, yeah, I really love this brown sugar thing though. I think they need to keep it. Thank you for the blesses. Try to get that drink, but it's impossible in the UK. I, you know what? You should tell the queen. You should tell her. Somebody come get her. She's dancing like a stripper. Why did I start saying that when I thought of the queen? <laughs> Ew. Ew, can you imagine? Hey guys, picture this. It'd be really funny if you pictured this. Imagine the queen dancing like a stripper. <laughs> Y 
You guys would be so funny. <laughs> My own chocolate thing is new. They have a new pasty that's good with a lime coconut bar. They made that for me. Do you know how old the queen is? Isn't she 80 something? 90 something? How old is the queen? She is. Oh no! No! Overrun with monsters. I have one staircase left. I guess I gotta use it if I'm gonna exist in the mines today. She'd slay. She's in better shape than me. <laughs> yeah. True Cordelia, you never had Starbucks? Where do you live that you've never had Starbucks? Starbies. I like Starbies. Um, it's very good and whatever. It's not my favorite place to go, but they've got like everything. It's kind of hard. I just can never find a coffee shop that also has a breakfast sandwich. And so if I'm like, hey, I need a little breakfast sandwich, I'm going to go to Starbucks. Even though I fucking, I don't know what, what about like, the last couple months has turned me into a Starbucks person because I never fucking had Starbucks like ever before until those last couple months. And now I'm like, I think they put something in here. <clears throat> Is she wearing her crown? <laughs> She's wearing whatever you want her to wear. <laughs> Imagine the queen and I'm already out. <laughs> Oh my god! But yeah, um, I guess I gotta use this. Ripperoni. That's okay though. If we get to 50, it'll be worth it. Oh my god, look at that. Look at that! Okay, wait. Hold on. I, I know that we're getting overrun with monsters, but. Uh, uh, I just wanted those coppers. That's it. Okay, so yeah, if you guys aren't familiar with this run, I'm doing a vegan farm, cruelty-free. I am also a pacifist, and I will not be killing anything. And, um, ooh, okay, wait. I think I'm just gonna do it. Um, yeah, there's like a lot of monsty action. I don't wanna risk it. Tundra boots. Platinum's Jubilee. Junimos? Mmm, Junimos? Hmm. BF makes Starbucks coffee and coffee creamer for me is I love it so much. I really want to get a better coffee making setup at my house. I think I'm going to invest pretty soon here. How do, does anybody know, like, like, how do you, what's the cheapest way to, like, be making espresso shots at home without getting like an espresso machine. I haven't done that much research on it, but I want to be able to make a latte at home, right? Like I love latte more than like iced coffee or I just do like coffee with cream when I'm at home. But like, how do people make espresso for latte at home? What's the best way to go about that? I have, all I know about is the Nespresso machine and I'm like, I'm not buying that. Mm. Mocha pot is kind of like espresso, just very strong coffee. What is mocha pot? What the heck is a mocha pot? Is it mocha pot, mocha pot? Oh, that's what this is. I, for some reason, I just thought this was like a kettle. Um, I had no idea that this is what the girls were doing. Okay, so, so do you just, does it just concentrate it more? Okay, here, this is what, I use a French press to make coffee, full-bodied and espresso-like, Oh my god, I'm totally gonna... Ah, oh, for some reason, you guys, I just thought this was just like a kettle. <clears throat> Coffee grounds in a large mason jar, let it sit in the fridge for a few days to brew. Oh, that's interesting, too. Is that like... Does it feel like cold brew? True espresso without espresso machine, but AeroPress is incredible, too. AeroPress. Oh. Whoa, that's interesting. Are we literally just pressing it? That is interesting. Okay, does anybody else vouch for the AeroPress? I, th bread is great. That's what I thought, too. I thought that that was just a kettle, but apparently people are making something similar to espresso with this. 
mocha pot. I'm so glad. Thank you guys for being here. I, I would not know anything if I didn't have you guys. <laughs> mm. <clears throat> what happened? What what happened, Sam? <laughs> Make cold brew in the French press. I've seen people do that too. I'm not super into cold brew. Cold brew, every time I've had cold brew, I, first of all, I immediately feel like I'm going to shit my pants. Second of all, I'm wired. I am off the walls and my heart is pumping and I just don't feel good. Like, you know what I mean? It's a Leona raid. What the f fucking balls? I didn't even see. You guys. Hello. Uh, sorry, I'm a stupid, dumb idiot. Hey. I'm so Hey. How y'all doing? <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I don't know if I just didn't hear it or like what is wrong with me, but thank you so much for the raid, Leona. You guys, if you're not familiar with Leonaverse, I'm absolutely obsessed, okay? Leona is not only such a sweet mod and friend of mine, but also is a Twitch streamer. And um, I really highly encourage you guys to go and check out her stream. So if you guys could do me a favor, everybody in my chat, go follow Leona and show some love. I'm sorry. I think when you guys were coming in, I was talking about imagine if the queen was a stripper. And um, then I was also like, okay, hey, tell me how to make coffee. I just, I'm all over the place today, okay? I just, I don't know how to be a streamer, so I'm so sorry. But welcome in, guys. I hope you had a good time over at Leona's, but make sure you guys go and follow Leona for me, everybody that's here, because I love her. If you don't like cold brew, I don't recommend, or if you don't like cold brew, I'd recommend an iced Americano. It's similar in caffeine to a latte, but you can add whatever Hi, you want. Liz. I haven't been here in a while. You hmm. might not remember me, but I can finally come back to streams. Ah, I've love finished a lot. my of second I do. year of uni. Miss you and chat so much. I hope you're doing great. Congratulations, even though it's your second year. But congratulating from your second year of uni. <laughs> Thank you so much for 10 months. I appreciate you. And of course I remember you. Thank you so much for coming in and uh, hanging out. I appreciate that. How is life? Love a lot there. Don't know if you could buy slow presso from America though. It's very beautiful and easy to make too. Slow presso. Oh, what is this? Why is this all aesthetic? Slow presso. And then what do you make with this? I guess espresso, right? <laughs> A slow presso. I mean, it looks cute as hell. Like, that's a huge reason why I'm, like, intrigued. You know what I mean? And a mesa espresso. Damn. I really want... Okay, this is another thing, too. Every time I'm at Goodwill or anywhere, any sort of thrift store, I'm always looking for little, tiny, little glass coffee things because they're just like this. Just for a little espresso in case I ever... Um, so yeah, I want to be cute like this. Oh, this one that's blue. Okay, I'll have to look that up and see if I can, as an American. As an American, I want one. I really want one. It's cute. Well, I want to also watch a video and see how it works and stuff and see if it's what I want. But it makes espresso. Yeah, because I just feel like, okay, I'll try an iced Americano at... How do we order that? You know when you're going to the going to the coffee shop and you're trying to order something new, it's like kind of nerve-wracking. <laughs> Cuz you feel like they're going to be mean to you. <laughs> How do you order? So, do I say like, "Oh, can I get an iced americano with oat milk?" Kind of like kind of like a latte? You just I just be like, "Can I get an iced americano with oat milk?" And then, can I be like, "Can I have like uh, vanilla or something in it too?" And they're not going to be like, you stupid idiot. What are you even talking about? Okay, these guys do a lot of damage. I got to be careful of the ghosts. I'm running away. Get away from me. I love coffee. Okay, hold on. I got to get all these. Sorry, can't resist. I'm addicted and I just can't get enough. I just can't get enough. 
I always want to go in here. You see those little caves? Like, I always want to go in there. Um, okay, guys, this is this is turning into a situation. Oh god, and there's another one down there. Get away. Oh my god. My god, I wish I could go in that silly little cave. I think about it every night and day. I'm addicted, wanna jump inside your lair. God fucking damn it, I hate this. And there's another one down there. So I'm like kind of nervous. Because I don't want three flying things chasing me. And I have no more staircase. Definitely not even enough stone to craft another one. I think about it every night. Day. This is horrible. This is horrible. Okay, I knew. I figured. I figured that there was going to be one down here. God damn it. There's so many things chasing me right now. I can't do this. I can't do it. Oh, no. Okay, good. There's 53, guys. 53. Not bad, everybody. Not bad. <clears throat> Killing it. Get away from me. I feel like I can one hit those guys, so I'm like really trying to avoid them. Those little, those little jumpers. Oh God, I want this too. I want it, get away from me. I don't, I don't want to hit. God fucking, can everybody just go so I don't accidentally hit you? Thanks. Okay, thanks, bye. Literally almost at 55. So that could be really sick for us if we get there. <clears throat> I mean, let's hope. A girl can dream. There it is, though. Ayo! Ayo! 55. Can you believe it? I have not killed anyone. I have not killed anyone. Should I move to Europe? I heard Europe is cool. Has anybody, who, shout out all my Europeans. Uh, what do you think of Europe? And where do you live? And what's your street name and what's your social security number? Oat milk chai, anyone else like matcha? I had like a two solid months where I could not drink anything but matcha. I was like obsessed with it. And now I've got like a little bit of matcha ick, but I would make the matcha at home. I thought that was awesome. It was delicious, but I kind of had a little bit of a matcha kick and now I'm in a matcha ick because I drank too much of it so Europeans don't have social security number oh shit that's I didn't even like that didn't even cross my mind what do you guys have instead of a social security number do you have like a government ID get away get away oh, I think about it every night and day oh my fucking god this sucks <laughs> This is horrible. Okay, I'm just leaving. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> I made it to 55. It's 8.50 p.m. Oh, here, I'm going to 56, I guess. Oh god, this sucks too. I hate it here. <gasps> fuck! No, I don't know. I just, I just don't want to even chance it. Like, if I fucking... If I kill, I will never forgive myself. But I also have to reset the day, which sucks balls. Okay, not even worth it. Fuck you guys. Fuck you guys. Um. Fuck. Oh my god. Never mind. Never mind. <coughs> There's a bunch of cool shit over there, but I don't... I'm just gonna go. Like, I don't even care. This was just, this was a one-off mind day. We made it to 55. Not bad. I'm very impressed with myself that we made it over 50 with no killing. So that's really sick. Um, yeah, good for us. Very poggers. Very poggers. <clears throat> got to 55, so you got the elevator? Yeah. Yeah. In Poland, we have an ID with a national identification number. You get at birth, birthplace photo. What? Wait, do they... Like, what do you mean you get at birth? 
Do you get your photo taken when you're a baby and they give you a baby ID for babies? Why is that adorable? <laughs> is that really what happens? Boy, well, I think about it every night. No. Oh, no. I want to upgrade my axe for the mines. It's getting a little... It's getting a little much, right? I feel like we would have way better of a time if we upgraded our axe. So that's in the stars. Yep, that's gonna be happening pretty soon here. Um, everything else, keep, keep, keep. This is for, one of them's going inside of the bundle. Excuse me, moi. And then the other one is gonna go um, to the museum. Is there two of these for the bundles? Or is it just the one? Why do I feel like there's two, but there's not? And that's probably a lie. You can never be too sure. Okay, you can never be too sure. Chef's bundle. Yeah, it's good. It's all good. All good in the hood. Cool. Um, something that I've really been letting down in terms of my priorities is I need to be checking the the bar. You know how the bar will sell like a food dish every day? I need to be checking that. A, because I want to get an egg in there. I want to get a fried egg in there somehow, if that's possible. But be like, you know, for anything else that I could possibly use. Do you think I'm allowed to buy cooked food that's not vegan if it's a gift for someone? Like if I don't eat it? What do you guys think about that? Live in north of England. What up? It's okay. It's okay. Nice views in that. Nice views. I mean, yeah, Europe is looks so pretty. I always really wanted to go. Carson's been to Europe. My boyfriend, he's been. And he said the coolest part was he and his dad rented a car and drove through the Swiss Alps. <laughs> Trash dive. Thank you, Lillian. Oh, my God. I keep... Every time I'm in that town, I'm walking right by the trash, and I keep forgetting to get those little trash cans. I'm sorry to let you guys down. But today is also the traveling cart. Traveling cart? More like traveling bar. Am I right, ladies? <laughs> Am I right, ladies? Um, so that's cool. I could, let's say, hypothetically, that I upgraded my axe. Is that the way to go? We did talk about last time how we need to upgrade the watering can. It just would be so nice. Shh. Should we do that? I don't know. I feel like we have to. Let me go check also the weather. Because the weather for tomorrow, if it's like, oh, it's raining, we should 100% just upgrade our watering can real quick. Why not, you know? Why not? Switzerland looks very different than like Poland. Really get a variety of vibes in Europe. Oh, definitely. Yeah, everywhere looks like so different. Um, bean. What was I just doing? Oh yeah, checking the tele. Television. It's sunny tomorrow. I guess I should just do the axe, right? I believe this is Forest Farm. Correct me if I'm wrong, you guys, but I think that it is. Yeah, yeah. Do I even have enough to do that? I don't think I do. I think I need more iron ore because I only have two that are cooking up right now. So yeah, bummer. I could upgrade a tool to be copper. The only thing I have left is the trash can, which is like meh, but the watering can. Mm, I don't know. We'll see. Let's go head on over to the traveling cart and see what we can do. See if there's anything good and exciting and great that we need. That's my favorite part of this run is doing the traveling cart because like, you know, what are we going to get? It's a mystery. It's so fun. I'm excited. I'm praying for fish that we need for bundles, animal products that we need for bundles. That'd be great. Signal, thank you so much for the follow. And Brianna Sweet Pete, thank you for the follow as well. Sorry that I didn't see because I'm stupid. Um, Are we ready? 
Are we ready to get our TC on? Traveling cart. Battery. Juice. Horsey. Puffer fish. <sighs> Pale ale. Kind of a letdown. Okay. Is battery vegan? Um, I do think that vegans probably are cool with ingesting battery. Okay. <clears throat> the lightning rod. Doesn't that require bats? Hold on, we're getting on the wiki. Doesn't that require bats? Mm-hmm. So, what do you think, what do you think I should do? Should I just go ahead and buy those batteries for the off chance that like maybe someday soon I could craft the iridium sprinklers, which would be nice, um, but not necessary at all, you know, just because like, how long is it going to take us to unlock Krobus, I don't know. But also, how long is it gonna take before we can even get Iridium Ore? I don't know. Um, I feel like I should just buy them if I can. But also the traveling cart's coming in two days and I don't have the prospect of making a lot of money in the next two days. I can always come up with money though. I can always come up with money if something comes up and ends up being in there that we want. Buy it. Any naysayers? Buy it for a gift for Maro too. Yes, that could definitely work. <clears throat> what else does Maru like? Let's see. Let's see. Um, I think she likes straws, and I have straws saved. Or is that Demetrius? Demetrius likes strawberries. She also likes strawberries. She's also easy though. I typically will give her just like diamonds, just because diamonds are easy. And they're a girl's, girl's best friend. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. You know, I just had an internal dilemma. You know, okay, what is that part of the game? Help me out, Stardew people. What is that part of the game where we go to the witch's hut and we have to give the guard guy like a void egg or a void mayonnaise or something? Um, is, that, is that a quest that unlocks Krobus or am I totally mistaken? Sorry, that was just an offhand thought. That was a totally, like, fucking so random. Um, let me... I, I'm not gonna buy the battery. It's too expensive. It's too expensive. I'd rather just not. Nothing else is really needed here. Summer Spangle, that's bundled, but, like, you know, we can get that in, like, just a couple days here. So I think we'll be okay. And then we do have the puffer fish, so we're okay there. Um... I don't know why I just had that thought and it just worried me. It had me worried for a second. Museum unlocks Krobus. Yes, because that's the, those are two separate things, right? Right, like you get Krobus because you get the key from doing the museum. The witch thing has nothing to do with that. Oh God. <laughs> oh God. I'm like, I just don't know. I don't remember. I don't remember nothing, but that's okay. We'll figure it out, I guess. Today, I will use my strength. Instead of going to the mines, mines, let's go to the mines. I'm gonna use my strength to chop some wood on the farm. Um, Cause we're pretty low on wood in general. Um, it doesn't have to be hardwood, but wood in general. So we'll clear out a little bit of farm today. Also, since my ax is upgraded, can I 
hit these or is that one more upgrade? Yes, your pickaxe isn't strong enough to break this boulder. It's not a boulder. It's a rock. Ah. Ah, okay. Well, I guess we'll figure that out eventually. Um, I am one iron bar short from just upgrading it today. That's fine too. Like, that's okay. So I have four iron. Let me make some... Copper. Copper boys. I could upgrade a copper tool today, and I think it's going to be watering can. I'm just going to say screw it and do it. I also think that I should... Uh, what do you guys think? What do you guys think? Should I just sincerely just wait for a day for it to be raining to do that? I think I'm getting ahead of myself. You know what I mean? It's been... Uh, it's been? Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome. What is the purpose of Junimo huts on, their, on your farm? I think that they are just unpaid labor. <laughs> I think that the Junimo huts, they'll harvest your crops so you don't have to like go around and do it yourself. You just go up to their hut and then you pick up all the crops from their vicinity from your from their little hut buy things that aren't vegan right absolutely yes i'm allowed to buy it um is void mayonnaise vegan well i don't know because it's from like a void chicken which I would consider to be a living, breathing thing. Consen consensual unpaid labor, yes. They just like like the forest and shit, you know? And so they're like, oh, we're happy to do that. <laughs> they're like, oh yeah, sure. Sure, you know what? We just love to work, 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 all day, day, day. All right, cool. So that is gonna be five copper bars. Um, if I see Emily, if I see Sebastian, anybody like quartz? Anybody love quartz? I don't really think so, right? Does anybody? Because that would be kind of convenient, right? If anybody's like, I'm obsessed with quartz. People like it, but nobody loves it. Okay. So maybe if I see like Abigail, Maru, it's gonna be kind of hard to remember who hates it and who likes it, but I'll bring a couple of them around with me and we'll just kind of look it up, you know, just to be safe. And um, Strawberry, if I see Maru or Dimitri, Dimitri, yay, 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 yay. Marnie's okay with it? Oh yeah, I want to be befriending Marnie as well. So that I can do the shorts thing. <clears throat> Are Junimo huts vegan? They might not be ethical, but I would say that they're pretty vegan. <laughs> Just because you're a vegan doesn't mean you're a good person and doesn't mean that you are above exploiting labor, so. You ever think about that? Um, before I donate one to the museum, I do not want to screw anything up, so this one is going straight into the community center. She's getting dough nutted. Right meow. I want to donate right now, right now. Aquamarine. H2O. Okay, that's good. Very good, very good. Don't let me forget. This is on the forefront of my mind, so hopefully I don't forget. Trash cans while I'm here. And I gotta check the saloon. There's two of them. Hello, give me a fried egg. Cranberry sauce. I'll save my money. Unless, wait. Marnie likes pumpkin pie. Who likes cranberry sauce? Honestly, I prefer the cranberry sauce out of the, out of the p -p 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 pan. 
can. <laughs> I prefer it out of the can rather than homemade at Thanksgiving time. So um, that's not a reason why I'm not buying it, but you know, I would be lying if I, if I said it wasn't kind of. That one, no hand. Thank you so much for the follow. Emily, here's a topaz. Yes, the gift is fabulous. Um, do 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 do. Mm, happy Friday, <laughs> I guess. It's Friday IRL. Friday in Stardew. Almost done with spring. I'm so excited to be done with spring. Just ready to move on. Aquamarine. Yay, we're getting really close with our museum here. We have a lot of stuff donated. Oh, thank you so much for joining us. I appreciate you coming all the way over from YouTube. Came into the stream hoping to work on my Animal Crossing Island, and I only now turned on my Switch. How's your Friday going? <laughs> well, I mean, mine's going great. I feel like I'm being very productive. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> I sincerely keep debating on if I want to like summerify my Animal Crossing Island and I think that I do. I think that I do. At first I was feeling really lazy and like not wanting to do that, but I think it's in my stars. Thank you, thank you, yeah. Round of applause for me. So we have 10, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 things. That's not really that close, but we're gonna get it. Okay guys, we're gonna get it eventually. Does Caroline like quartz? I'm just looking at it real quick. Oh, and she fucking hates it. She hates it. Um, apparently... Harvey and Abigail and Marnie are who I can give it to that are chillin'. Um, just off the top of my head, like, just thinking about people that I'm gonna remember. You know what, everybody's uh, pretty forgettable in the grand scheme of things, so... Yeah, yeah. I probably will miss Harvey unless I manage to make it to the bois. Unless I manage to make it to the bois tonight. Yep. Rip. Ripperoni. We are not friends. I cannot go up there. I'm just gonna sit here and, like, honestly wait for everybody to come through. <laughs> <clears throat> Want to see her eat it? Oh, three o'clock. I can actually still make it to get these geo joids. <laughs> I am having a hard time speaking. Okay. Um, I can break these open really quick. I totally forgot I had these. Oh shoot. And then there's one up here. Ancient seed. Just kidding. I got a rib. Hey, it's something I can donate though. Break them. Copper. Oh, this thing. Aeronite. Cool. Okay, I have two more things I can donate real quick. Okay, boom, 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 boom. Bada bing, bada boom. I have decided while I was thinking and I was pondering earlier, I am just going to wait for a rainy day to upgrade the watering can. It, we have plenty of time. We're okay. I don't need to stress super hard about it, you know? Um, we'll figure it out. I did get a new reward. That was 20 objects, right? A night on Eco Hill. Trash! Thank you! Trash! Oh my god, god freaking bless ya. I got a green algae! That's pretty cool. God bless. God bless green algae. Yeah. I got these two up here. Um, these two puppies. Oh, don't judge me. Thank you. <laughs> uh, do you lose friendship with people if they catch you going through the trash? Is that where all the trash cans are? I think, was there one at Clint's? Is there one at Clint's? Yes. Does that just like happen 
randomly or do they speak to you? Okay, here. There is one right here. I totally missed it. All right, well, I got a green algae. Lose points, but not by that much. Okay, good. Because I'm going to be a little trash goblin. And I would hope that people don't judge me. Okay, I'm going to the bar. I have a couple of things that I could give people. Like this strawberry to Demetrius. I wish... It time to go see Maru, because I don't think Maru really ever goes to the saloon, does she? Um, let me get a Joja Cola for Sam really quickly. A Joji Coli. I love her portrait. She's so fucking cute. Um, this is Abigail. So Abigail is okay with the quartz. How'd you know I was hungry? This looks deli- You weren't joking. You weren't joking, she actually does eat it? I just gave her a quartz. How do you know I was hungry? This looks delicious. That's so bizarre. Okay, good for you, girl. <laughs> I really love this. How did you know? <laughs> the wild guess, I guess. Um, cool. So, I have Straub. No Mar. No Maru. I have money, but I don't really want to, like, spend my money right now on giving people gifts. Oh, Marnie does like this, so yes, I have to give Marnie a quartz. Thank you. You're so welcome. Yeah, everybody else can suck it. You think she sits outside of the bar? I don't think I've ever seen her sit outside here super late at night. It is 6.50. If their house closes at 9, I can make it in time. Or at eight, maybe, either. I don't know. We'll see. Let me just, like, see if I can run on over there. And hopefully she's not just, like, chilling in her room. Rabbit. Let's see. I got a strawberry for you, ma'am. Oh, I also got this. Sorry. Ancient seed. Oh, I got a skull. A prehistoric skull, baby. Oh, she's in her room. Um, you want to come out? <laughs> uh, okay, next time. Next time. I have to just make sure I make time to give Maru stuff. I always forget. She's a little hard to come by sometimes. So, yeah. Okay, that's that. I'm done. It's time to go to bed. We've got Saturday, which is a cool day to maybe go to the mine. Ah. You know, it's like the end of the season, so it's a little awkward right now because it's like I don't have a lot of farming going on. So let's just go to the mine tomorrow as long as nothing else exciting is happening and uh, go from there. Hopefully, if it's raining, I'd love to be able to upgrade a tool. That'd be great. Green algae, I guess I'll hold on to you. Straub. So far, so good, though, you guys. Like, kind of... We're just doing good. We're just doing good. I will put you right here. Oh, that's adorable. Okay, can you go to bed? Beep, beep, boop, beep, bop. Ugh. Not doing so hot in the uh, money department right now. We haven't planted anything in a while. Maybe we'll have collies today. Little cauliflowers. I was like, why is that taking so long? That had me nervous for a second. Okay, welcome to Kozu 5, your number one source for weather news and entertainment. The weather forecast for tomorrow. It's going to be a beautiful and sunny day. Okay. So not going to upgrade my watering can. Should I? Should I just do it? Yeah, actually... Wait, that kind of makes more sense in my mind because it's not like watering my crops tomorrow is gonna matter, right? So... What is stopping me? What is holding me back? Nothing. I'm gonna upgrade this damn watering can and just get it out of the fucking way. And who's gonna stop me? No one. Need money for summer seeds? Oh. oh. Oh, and I need money for the traveling cart. Mm. 
Okay, I'll wait. I'll wait. God damn it! God damn it, I should wait! Oh, that's so tough. Oh, that breaks my heart. It really does break my heart. But I think you're right. I could sell all this and like realistically like would be okay for A, the traveling car tomorrow. I could just sell all of my crops and I could still be able to do it. Ah, uh, why am I like this? Why do I just feel like I should just do it? Ugh. Hello, corn cob. And hello, Ray Dimension. Kitty scarecrows? Yeah, they're kind of a sleigh. So what do you think? Should I just sell all the stuff? Duh, Sharky Live. Thank you for the follow. Thanks. Um... Thank you for being my comfort streamer. Thank you, Piss Baby, for being my comfort Piss Baby. I appreciate that so much. Thank you for seven months. You're so sweet. I love you. Um, what? Oh, okay. If I just sell all the shit... Like, just sell it. You know what I mean? Just get it out. I could be rich. I could be much richer than I am now. Keep one of everything. Um... Why one of everything? I feel like if you don't have, like, enough to, like, cook stuff with, you know, it's kind of just, like, meh. Typically, I like to keep, like, ten of everything so that I have enough to, like, make all the dishes and stuff. But, like, cooking's already going to be kind of a difficult thing for us to manage in the first place because we are vegan. And a lot of the stuff uses, like, the egg and the cheese and the milk in terms of recipes, so it's a little bit hard. I'm not even think I'm not even like forward thinking enough to think about all the cooking and stuff. And I could just like have money and be rich. Right? I have money and be rich. Found out your crush has Stardew Valley on PC. Wanna play it, but I have no money. For Stardew Valley on PC. It's okay. Someday. She'll be into it for a long time, man. Stardew Valley is uh Stardew Valley is a good game. You can always hop back in. <clears throat> Once you go Stardew Valley, you never go back. Mmm. More hours out of Animal Crossing or Stardew? Animal Crossing. I have way more hours in Animal Crossing than Stardew. I think with Stardew, like, you can drop a solid 70 to like 150 hours and like, no problem if you're like obsessed enough. But with Animal Crossing, I feel like it's just so easy to rack up the hours. Don't you guys think? Or does anyone else disagree? Mm-hmm. Manic mushroom. Okay. Maybe I agree with you guys. Maybe I agree. I keep five. I keep five of everything. I'll sell all of this. There's no traveling cart today. I'm just going to fucking do the copper bar. And I'm just going to upgrade the watering can. If I regret it, you guys are allowed to laugh in my face later. But I have a feeling this is big fucking brain, okay? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I find it easier to rack up hours in Stardew because the days go faster. That's true, that's true. Quickly racking up hours in Stardew. I haven't played Animal Crossing in a couple months. That happens to a lot of people too, like... With Animal Crossing, I feel like I, um... Don't touch it for a really long time. And so the same thing kind of happens to me, you know? Oh, I got a broken CD. What CD do you guys think it is? Daffodil. Let me go hit these little trashies. <clears throat> so many damn Animal Crossing hours. Stinky Meg, thank you so much for the tier one sub. Thank you. We love having you. I appreciate you so much. Thank you for the extra support. <clears throat> With Stardew Valley, I will probably never have any comparable amount of hours as I do with Animal Crossing. And that is just because, like, I don't know. I feel like, mm, excuse me. 
Animal Crossing, I just, I spend a lot of time building and stuff. And I think it's easier to rack up the hours if, excuse me again, if you're doing that, you know, the building, the decorating. It takes time. It takes a lot of time. You, but also, yeah, Stardew, Stardew just does rack up a lot of hours. It's a toughie. It is a toughie. All right, everybody. I'm selling all my shh. I'm selling it all. I'm doing it. Yo, that is so much money. $9,600. I'm set. I could definitely upgrade my little wadi. I keep forgetting that upgrading tools cost money, so thank you guys for always reminding me. <laughs> Way more hours in Animal Crossing than Stardew, but at this point, like you said, Stardew, Stardew has more replay replayability. Yeah. No, definitely. Like, maybe someday I'll get there. But I have a shitload of hours in Animal Crossing. It's like unhealthy. It makes me sick. <laughs> Thanks, Stinky Meg. We're happy to have you. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -hmm. How many hours do you have? 4,000? Let me tell you. Here's the thing, though. My hours are not super accurate because on this Nintendo account there was a period of a couple months where I used to run on my Animal Crossing Island I used to run a um what was it called a catalog island so I had all of the items in the game laid out this was a long time ago all the items in the game laid out and people would come and pick them up and drop them so that they could appear in their catalog so it was like a little bit easier for people to obtain items, right? So I would have that running for in the past when I streamed on YouTube, my channel members. So people would sign up and I would leave the switch on for like hours, you know, so that they could all come through and come check out the island. So this isn't as accurate of a number as I wish it was because I did just like leave my switch running forever um, for a couple months. But my Animal Crossing New Horizon hours. <laughs> this makes me want to throw up. 3,815 hours. Now, I've played a lot of Animal Crossing. I will tell you that much. But I have not played 3,800 hours. But it's definitely like I have played a lot of Animal Crossing in general, you know? But, like, holy shit. It's a conflated number. That's true, Haley. <laughs> but, yeah, it's a fuckload of hours. <clears throat> I think, if I had to guess, a little more... A little less than half of those hours are probably from that catalog island where I kept it on. Mmm. Mmm. Hmm. Mm. Hmm. Okay. Watering can. Killing with frost. Thank you for the follow. Watering can. Bot, bitch. Let's fucking go. Let's go. Okay, that is worth it to me. Tell me why I just tried to get on that. Oh my god, no. That was embarrassing. I can't even get on there. <clears throat> that should be your fun fact that I tell people. I have almost 4,000 hours in Animal Crossing. <laughs> 1,200 hours, do no content make no monies from it so i mean yeah it's like it's a good ass fucking game and plus like there was you know that first couple months during the pandemic when the pandemic first started and animal crossing came out where legitimately i was playing for like every moment that i was awake you know so like right it's it, it's not that bad <laughs> me making excuses but like yeah you know what i mean like I don't know. To me, it's not that bad. 
Lexi, is this vanilla? Um, I am playing with mods. All my mods are on Lissy's blog. Ooh, cool. Um, I am playing with mods, um, mostly just aesthetic mods on this one. I don't know if I have a lot of gameplay mods in here at all. Not like expanded or anything like that. Not in this one. Mmm. Late in bed, played 10 hours a day, right? There was like nothing else to do. Nothing else to do. <sighs> I also loved doing like turnips. I remember like when Animal, Fro Animal Frosting, <laughs> Animal Crossing first came out, the turnips, the turnip exchange and stuff and like hopping on and selling turnips on like people's islands and how crazy packed and like overwhelmed things were getting. That was such a time and like, we will never get that back. Like, isn't that crazy? We'll never ever go back to that. Kind of like when Animal Crossing first came out, glitz and glamour. It's the unknown. Oh my God. Hi, Broccolis. I have some good news for you. A few days ago, I made a breakthrough in my research on the local environment. I'll spare you the technical details and get to the point. You know that empty cave over there a little ways to the west, but I have a way to turn it into something useful for both of us. I like to set up the cave to attract some local species. That way I can observe them in a more controlled environment. You can harvest whatever products they produce. Set up my cave to attract mushrooms or fruit bats. Okay, <clears throat> I think we decided that for this playthrough, for vegan farm, it'd probably be easier for us to just do the bats. Like whenever you're trying to complete the community center as like a challenge too, even though that's like not the core of our challenge, it's a really big part of it. We're still gonna try to complete the community center. I think we decided fruit bats was probably like the best thing, right? Um, so I think we should bats. We've gotta do bats. Like it just, I haven't planted any trees yet. We'll get around to it probably towards like the end of summer. Cause we can't, we're not spending money on like animals and buildings and stuff. So it's not impossible for us to like start planting trees soon, but still we gotta do bats. Hello, Roy. How are you? I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. Bats. Freaking bats. I love Halloween. Oh, the Polygon article thing? Yeah, they just took my tweet and they put it in their stupid little article. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> Polygon be like, I consent. And I be like, is there someone you forgot to ask? <laughs> it was me. Um, but yeah, uh, let me see. I have it because I got like a thing in my on my Twitter about it today. You guys want to see how famous I am? I have had so many hit tweets lately. And Polygon put me in an article. The Sims 4 new froggy chair looks friggin cute. Peak journalism, you guys. Froggy chair in Sims 4. Alert, alert. Here's me. The Sims 4, we have Froggy Chair at home, Froggy Chair at home. You guys already know. I talked about, you know, every time I have a hit tweet, I have to talk about it because I just love to be, like, the center of attention. Um, yeah, Froggy Chair at home. Took my fucking tweet. I wish you could edit tweets so I could have it say something, like, absurd. I don't know. I don't even know what it would be, but I would just, I would fucking, I would, it would be foul and vile. How does it feel to be famous? I don't know. Maybe I can get verified now that I'm on an article. Animal Crossing Froggy Chair and Sims 4 Froggy Chair are pals. This is cute. This is cute. Don't talk to me. I'm thinking about her. Why? I think Froggy Chair in Sims 4 is flop era shit. I no. Sims 4 saw what AC had said we gotta get on that. Exactly. Exactly. I think the Froggy Chair in the Sims 4 is kinda like meh. Meh. Blah, 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 blah. Froggy Chair in Animal Crossing for life. She's the only fucking thing that matters. Just saying. Just saying. What was I doing? I like totally forgot what I was doing in Stardew before I was talking about how famous I am. There's nothing like the beginning times of a game where everything is new. There's nothing like it. It's just, we'll never touch that again. For Animal Crossing New Horizons, say it. Mm. Oh yeah, we just got the fruit bat cave, so that's great. We got fruit bat. Um, it is Saturday. Saturdays are for the Saturday rice shoots. That's cool. 
So we got fruit bats. They're gonna be coming in this cave with all sorts of little fruits. I think for the rest of the day and for some of my energy, like I said the other day, I really wanna clean up my farm a little bit and get some of these trees out of here. Uh, get some trees out of the way. I wanna have like organized farming, okay? Grass does not really matter to me. Grass does not really matter to me that much to like keep hordes and hordes and hordes of it. I, I'm comfortable clearing out like a little space on this side so that I can plant a ton of crops when summer comes by. Not like all of it or anything because I want to keep it so that I can get, um, I just want to get some silos and forge some of that fodder, you know what I mean? It is part of a bundle too and I could just outright buy it but silos are cute and I feel like it'd be just fun to have cute little silos on the farm. You know, like, why not? Why not? We have Froggy Chair at home. Yeah, that Froggy Chair looked busted. I'm sorry. Nothing is going to beat the original. She has no charm. She has nothing going for her. Other swatches are cute. What are the other swatches? Are they all frogs? I haven't, I didn't get the kit or anything, so I don't know. I think that um, since I have gone down to streams, like my stream schedule has gone down a little bit. Um, we are going to be playing a little bit more Sims in the next couple weeks because I had an idea about the upcoming Sims 4 pack. I think that we're pretty sure that it's going to be werewolves. I talked about this a little bit at the beginning of stream, but the thing that we're going to do is we're going to download the vampires pack. You guys are going to show me how to play it. And we're going to download the Realm of Magic pack and kind of like play through them so that when when werewolves come out, I can make a Vampire Diaries household and make them do awful things to each other. Does that sound good? And then that'll be great YouTube content. <laughs> other animals. Oh, cute. That's kind of cute. Okay. Okay, I get it. I get it. You know, maybe I should be less of a hater. <laughs> Silos that you're not building farmer coop. I'm not. I just want to build silos because they're cute. And um, like I said, I do need to get the fodder for a bundle. Um, or like hay, right? Is it? I don't remember. But I mean, I don't know. We'll figure it out. I'm not going to cut all my grass though. That was the point of saying all of that. Be down for that? I'm so down for that. I'm so down. Because I haven't played Vampires, I never bought it, even though I've like, I've been interested it, in it in the past, it just never has crossed my credit card. Yeah, there we go. Um, that was the last of my energy. Uh, but I never bought it, um, and I never really had a super big interest in the Realm of Magic, just, I don't know, I don't know why, I just wasn't like super in love with it. Um... I think it's just because first and foremost, like I am a hater first, but yeah, I don't know. So I got to get it so that I can make everybody from the vampire diaries and have them be true to themselves. Can you craft the nature bar yet? I already planted all my seeds. I'm okay. Like it's not a big deal. I'm not, um, I have a lot of wood now and stuff, so it's chilling. I I will keep this, you know, someday I'll get enough rice shoots <laughs> that I'll plan it next year, right? I'll plan it next year. I'll just sell everything. It's 4.50 p.m. It's a Saturday. Maybe I could um, run around and do some foraging because that seems like um, a great idea just to kind of grab some stuff and some things that I can use to like take with me when I do get exhausted and just kind of run around, you know? Have a good old time. Relax. It's the end of the season. Not much going on. Oh God. I want to get that. Let me see if I can find a little forageable. If not, I'll go grab that little horseradish that I threw inside of the little, inside of the little bin. <clears throat> Hater first, list pillar second. List pillar for life. Oh cool. I found a little horsey. There's also a little dandy. Okay, I gotta go back and get that dig spot. 
Um, I'll do the horsey. <laughs> Plus 13 energy. Hmm. Summer. Summer crops. What are these summer crops that we're going to have to plant? Tomato, hot pepper, blueberry, melon, and then we have quality melon. And I believe we could do corn, right? Is corn a summer and a fall crop? Or is that something else? I thought it was, but I'm not super sure. Hello, hat mouse. I can't afford you right now. Someday. Someday I'll get around to uh, being rich and buying things from hat mouse. But we could do those two quality crops. That'd be great. They are? Okay, cool. Cool. Um, that's going to be good. Get through all of those. Keep all of these as little foods to take with us. So that's good. Anything else? Anything else we have to worry about for summer? I mean, you know, fishing isn't really on the forefront of our minds, so it's not too bad. Um, oh, did I check the trash cans today? I thought that I did this morning. I think that I did. I really, really think I did. I'm so on top of it. Look at me looking at the trash cans now, remembering that I have to do the trash cans. See, that's why I need you guys. I need you guys to keep me in check, keep me in line, keep me straight. Not too straight, <laughs> but yeah. Otherwise, I'm all over the place. Hey, looking good. Looking Hi, good. E, e, happy Friday, Black Heart. Dr. Boo, I love you. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you for 14 months. You're so sweet. I hope you're having a great day. Thank you, thank you for being so awesome. Corn is both. Exhausted, don't get along well with my parents. My mom's going our way for her birthday dinner. I don't know if she should go with. Then if you're exhausted, then just don't go. Don't go. You got to protect your peace, you know? That's been my motto the last couple days that I've been like really stressed out and stuff and that people have been annoying the fuck out of me. Just gotta protect your peace. Hmm. Libby, you're right. I did forget the dig spot. I even see it when I walked right by it too because I walked that way to get back to the farm. Oh no. Um, Day 28. Bye bye. Day 28. Day 28 is the last day of the season, right? Queen of Swiss, what do you got for me? Omelet? I'm a vegan. Clear and sunny tomorrow? Well, yeah, it's the first, right? First the worst, second the best. Greetings, Broccolis. It is our pleasure to inform you that your farm will be featured in next week's up and coming column of the Sturdy Valley Tribune. Uh, congratulations, we're impressed with your quick progress. What does that even mean? I don't even know what that means, really. Whatever. I'm not familiar. I really am not. Um, I mean, it's only been one day that I've had fruit bats, but hey, I got a wild plum. That is a bundle thing, so I guess I can go throw it in there. Um, and it's also traveling cart Sunday, so I'm just gonna walk on down there. I don't give a shit. I don't have a watering can. I'm just like a free spirit over here, you know? And then I think also, um, since I've got everything all squared away for spring, Maybe we'll just hit the mines. <clears throat> do I like Trixie Mattel? I do. I'm not super, super like 100% like watch every fucking video, listen to every podcast type of person, but it, you know, a Trixie Mattel I do like. But I'm not like, like super stan. I'm not, if you're like referencing anything, I'm gonna not really know. <laughs> but I do like, I do like. Mm. Cave carrot, artichoke, potato, coconut, tulip, mayonnaise, bruschetta, carp. Okay, so let's look at carp, mayonnaise is not on here, which is unfortunate. Is mayonnaise anywhere else not an artisan bundle i'm fairly positive that it's not in anything oh carp 
I don't think carp is a river fish. I think we've talked about that before. Oh, it is. Oh shit. It's cause it's a lake fish. Okay, we got it by the carp. And what else, what else, what else, what else? Nothing from these two. The monies. Um, I personally believe I could buy the, um, hold on one second. Let me just go through these one more time, make sure I'm not forgetting anything. It's a fodder bundle. Artisan. I can't believe mayonnaise is on here. And it is not an instrument. Leon, nom, 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 nom. Thank you for the follow. Um, okay. Here's the Delio, Shmelio, Demilio. We're gonna buy the carp. And. Uh, I'm trying to think. If I buy these three, there's a cave carrot, a cactus fruit, and a coconut in there right now. I can just complete the bundle. Like, and it just be out of sight, out of mind. Do you think that that would be cool? Just to get it out of the way. I mean, it's not like this is a hard bundle to complete or anything, but like, since it's all here, you got the master fish bundle. Ew, I'm so sorry. Remix bundles suck. Okay, carp, just go for it. Yeah, why not? We just have the opportunity. I think we should just do it and um, be happy. Everything else is um, meh. I cannot believe mayonnaise is not on there. Mayonnaise. Hmm. Bruschetta, very expensive. Very expensive, darling. I just can't do it. I can't do it. <laughs> Millie May, I can't take too much credit because I did kind of half steal from Corn Cob. I admit. I'm coming out as a joke stealer. I steal jokes from you guys all the time. Yes. Uh, how else would I be funny? <laughs> mm. Okay, going to the bundles. Let's get these bundies bundled up. That's kind of cool. We had at least, you know, it's not like we had the craziest of stuff in these uh, in the traveling cart today, but. It's kind of nice to be able to complete a bundle, even though it's not totally necessary. We just still do it, right? And get her over with. Carp. <clears throat> Carp more like... LARP. Am I right, ladies? Oh, shoot. Plum, you are a forager. Oh. So both of them are down here. Silly me, silly me. What am I even talking about? Yearly bears, thank you for the follow. We've got a wild plum that I got from the bat cave. Cave carrot, coconut, my coconuts. You can put them in your mouth. Autumn's bounty. Would you look at that? That's pretty vegan, isn't it? Cool. Cool! We're getting close, you guys. We're doing some pretty amazing stuff here. Pretty, pretty amazing stuff. <clears throat> list stole my name, too. I was the original list. Uh, how old are you, Corn Cob? Because I guarantee I was the original list. I will not refute that I am a thief, though. I will accept that. Oh, I gotta get the cans. <laughs> KK stuff late to streamy. Did we discuss me two icons me meeting up? AKA listen, EJ. We did talk about it. I mean, it was very cool and very fun for me. And um I love I absolutely love them. Like, I don't know. I just I would love to like hang out more on stream and stuff because I just had such a good time. It's just so nice meeting people that you just like get along with. It's so fun. I just realized my window's open too, and it's like bright as hell. <laughs> uh, let me close that.
But yeah, no, it was a really good time. It was really fun. I feel like we just gelled. My coconuts. You can put them in your mouth right now. LARP IRL is so fun. Actually, it looks like fun. It looks like you're having more fun than everyone else, you know? I feel like that's just like such a fun little group of people too. Okay, what the fuck? Nothing in the trash today? Hmm? Nobody's got trash? Nobody's got cool stuff for me like fish in the trash? Lame. <clears throat> Turning 26, checkmate. Ah, oh, shit balls. You are older. Stop! Don't yell at me! And it wasn't even worth it. There's nothing in there. It's not like we're friends anyways. Bitch. Sorry. I didn't mean to call Jody a bitch. I actually did. I actually really did mean to find Jody. Call Jody a bitch. Bitch! <laughs> <laughs> okay uh what are we doing we're gonna just go straight to the mine like why not am did we confirm am i allowed to eat autumn's bounty like is this vegan am i allowed to eat this let's find out a one a two a three autumn's bounty is made with yam and pumpkin You guys, Lewis loves it. I don't give a shit. I'm eating it. Um. Okay. Cool. Yam and pumpy. Let's go ahead and uh, head on over to the mines then. Fuck yeah, dude. Hell yeah. That do be vegan. Yay. Yay hop. Okay. We're going to the mines. It's gonna be great and super fun. You know what I am gonna bring with me today is the hoe. I keep forgetting I want to bring the hoe to the mines. I want to get those dwarf scrolls. Also. I need to like do the bomb thing. You know what I mean? I'll actually bring all of these. Yes. Yes. Just bring all the foods. Sure. Sure. What else do I need? Um, nothing actually. Nothing else. Okay, let's ride. Let's hit the road. Come on, miners. I can make one staircase and I will just in case just in stair case sorry I just I'm particular about how I like my inventory okay okay mama goblin you found formula that's awesome I'm so happy <clears throat> so fucking stressful oh my god stressful do I not know how to enunciate um excuse me Am I a baby? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Does anyone actually care what Jody thinks? Fuck you, Jody. I hate you. Bomb thing can unintentionally kill something. I'm talking about to um, hang out with the dwarf. How's the video doing your interiors going? Swell. I have all of the wheel all put together. And I tried to film, I tried to film yesterday and then I immediately got something that I don't, like I can't. <laughs> I might have to cheese the video a little bit because it was like, um, I think it was like celestial something. And then I realized, oh shit, I don't have any celestial DIYs or any sort of spacey themed anything. So um, I'm actually gonna wait to record until Gary opens the Lice Mart. Hopefully this weekend I gotta hit him up because um, it'll be helpful to like, if I get those like random wacky themes to where I can get a couple of things and I would be able to do it, but I ran into a roadblock like immediately. And so I was like, all right, fuck. <laughs> so hopefully, I mean, if he has it tonight, that'd be great. Um, I'm gonna ask him and ask him to do me a favor, pretty please. 
and um, maybe I'll buy him a coffee or something. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, I really want to get on that. But I just was like, I don't want to like cheese it and like skip anything that I don't have the items for. So I'm like, I want to make sure that I can like get the stuff if I need it, right? Um, Sad Kid and Lily, thank you for the follows. Let's mine. Bitches know they can't catch me. Bitches know they can't. Axe me, like pickaxe. And then instead of it being like, dun, dun, it'd be like, tss, tss, you know, like a pickaxe, like, bing, bing. Cute, sexy in my cart, sporty mine cart. Shut up. <laughs> stupid, stupid, stupid. God, I just fucking love Charlie X the Axe. Get away from me. Oh my God. Okay, hold on. Hold on, let's, let's redo. Maybe they won't come right at me. Maybe they won't come right at me if I, if I uh, try to get back in here. Be nice. Okay, see? I mean, knock on wood, but peace and quiet. Cute, sexy in my ride, sport A. I'm sorry, I'm sorry to all the Brits. Damn, how's that luck today, though? Okay, back. That took forever. Oh, we got a ghost. Go and ghost. Go and ghost. Get away from me. Oh my god, there's so many monsters. Do you think I should just use a little staircase because there's just so fucking many now? But no. Yeah, I feel like that's the best way to go. Just because there's so many. And um, I don't love using staircase, but like, holy shit. I don't want to accidentally hit anything. Yeah. This area is infested. Fuck you, bitch. Oh my god. What a waste. Uh. You know what we're gonna do today? You know what we're gonna do today? Because I don't have any more staircase because I just used it. Um, let's just, let's just uh, get like a bunch of rocks and stuff. Why not? Well, um, it's not a serious mind day. We're not a, it's not a progressing in the minds type of mind day. But, hey, maybe if we start at 50, you know what? If we start at 50, that could get us enough rock to where when we get to that, yeah, whatever. I don't want to fucking plan that hard. We'll get there. Ugh, that's annoying. Annoying, love. It's very annoying. That's okay. Um... Great opportunity to get more iron, though. Get away from me. Why is there so many monsters here, too? Get away! No! Okay, come get me down here so I can get this one. Come and get me. Come and get me. <laughs> I fucking hate it here. I hate it here! Yeah. It, you know what? It's just, it started to get a little bit harder since we've gotten to these lower levels because of like, you know, not wanting to kill anything. Um, cause we're pacifists and we're just like good people. We're like better than everyone, you know? And, um, the lack of staircases because it's a little bit hard. Uh, um, fucking Christ. I need these things to go away so I don't accidentally kill them. You know what I mean? But I think once we like kind of, oh shit, there we go. Um, okay, now I can mine some rocks in peace and quiet. What is Aroni and Semus? Thank you so much for the follow. Is Aroni, thank you so much for the raid. Hi, how's it going? Welcome. How was your stream? Thank you so much for raiding me. Everybody say hello to Is Aroni and their audience. And if you could do me a fave, y'alls, do me a big favor and go follow Is Aroni on Twitch. It'd be awesome. Um, thank you so much for raiding me. I appreciate you. How was your Breath of the Wild stream? 
you know what I watched yesterday this youtuber named Arlo that I watch I don't know if you guys like Arlo um, was talking about in a new video about how breath of the wild hype is just like dead and how like Elden Ring pog fucking fuck breath of the wild too it's probably gonna suck <laughs> But I, and they were talking about how like, well, hype is kind of like definitely gone for the game and stuff. Are you guys still hyped for Breath of the Wild 2? Even though it's been like, like what, like four years since they like announced it? <laughs> I don't know. I just, I get nervous that it's going to be bad, but like, you know, that's just me being skeptical, right? But yeah, always hype Breath of the Wild. Think about Breath of the Wild literally every day. Love it forever. I think that we're not the people that are getting less hype about it. Um, because I think a lot of people were brought, like, especially into the Zelda franchise from Breath of the Wilds, um, and love, like, the RPG style of it. But I think that, that Arlo, um, YouTuber made, like, a really good point about how Elden Ring was, like, just, like, the quintessential perfect open world RPG game, like, ever. And so if they would have released Breath of the Wild 2 any time recently since Elden Ring's been out, it probably, um, it wouldn't have necessarily flopped, but people wouldn't be able to like help but compare it because they would be out so close to each other. And I'm like, okay, that's interesting. I wonder if that was maybe like something that they worried about. Do you guys think that at all? Does anybody here play Elden Ring 2? Okay, I'm not getting as many rock as I need to be rocking. <laughs> but I am getting lots and lots of little staircases, so that's kind of cool. And I'm getting little minerals and stuff, but yeah, this is not a progressing in the mines kind of day. It's definitely not, because see, we're back. It's infested. I should have stayed on that level. I totally forgot it was 57. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, I leave. I only have 71 stone. I can't make any stair. That's okay. It's a not progressing in the mines type of day. How about I go and I farm copper? Um, I could use some more copper. Why not? Let's just let's just do it. It'd be fun. It'd be fun for us. And a little less nerve-wracking. Uh, very different games. Don't think they exclude each other. I think they're very comparable, personally. <clears throat> Not in terms of, like, difficulty or aesthetic or anything, but, like, um, like, I think just, like, in general, like, gameplay world elements. Like, I don't know. I think a lot of people are going to, like, unfortunately compare the two when Breath of the Wild 2 comes out. Watch my BF play Elden Ring, it looked too hard. It's kind of an annoying ass, stupid ass game, but I like fucking love it. <laughs> so much work that went into the first game. Honestly, trying not to expect the second anytime soon because regardless, we'd rather receive a fully finished game. Okay, but they were making a really good point too. I think you guys should just watch the video so you know what I'm talking about because I'm not super good at like articulating points. But um, another point that they made too was that they were, they're reusing the same map and the game is built on the same engine. So um, like typically there's like five years between Zelda releases anyways. And um, from like the development time of like the first Breath of the Wild to how long it's taken to develop Breath of the Wild 2, um, it's kind of worrisome that it's taken much longer to develop Breath of the Wild 2 than the first one when they're building it on the same engine and using like the same um, map, I guess. But, you know, obviously, like there's the whole point of like the sky temples and like how, you know, how that's going to be and everything and how like obviously the world's going to be way different. But it's not like they're building the game from scratch. So like people, I think, are worried about that. But then there's another point, too, that the developers keep talking about how oh, well, we keep thinking of new things to add, so then we want to make sure we devote enough time to that. So I'm, like, really curious about, like, what all that's going to be. I think originally they probably just wanted it to be the same map and have it be, um, 
you know, just like obviously like a huge time leap and then everything be like super different. But I don't think that's interesting enough to people. So like, obviously we got to do some sky shit, right? Like we got to do some sky shit. Um, <laughs> so I think that's going to be really exciting. I don't know. I'm excited for it. But like, I think the general public is losing a lot of hype because how do you release trailers for a game for like three years? Like, how do you do that? That's like, what the fuck? <laughs> Ah, um, but that's just like classic Nintendo. I feel like that happens a lot for things. It happened with Animal Crossing, so um, not a trailer, but like talking about it. Um, I think a trailer came out like a year and a half or something before the game got released. That was the first trailer or something like that. Don't remember, but there's a direct coming up. I don't know when um, exactly, but there should be a direct coming up, and I'm. So excited to see if they have any more news about it. That would be so fucking sick. So sick. Rock, 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 rock. Damn, look at me go. It's like rock, rock, rocking around the Christmas tree. Boyfriend just actually, actually just now got into Breath of the Wild. Never finished that game and I'm okay with it. Never finished Breath of the Wild? You should. It's such a good game. I love it. It's so fun. It's fun in the sun. Fun in the sun with your buns. Happens to a lot of games, so I'm happy to wait as long as I'm not getting some micro transactions. Yeah, the second that like anything like that happens, it's like, I'm out. Yeah, I totally understand what you're saying. I'm like, I just would rather wait for like a more quality game and stuff. Um, which is like cool and everything, but, um, I have a theory that they just don't want to release it too close to Elden Ring. And that's my game theory. All right, guys, I'm going back to 55 because you know what? I fucking have enough to make a staircase. <laughs> and you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a staircase. Okay. We're going to get past this infestation level. And if not, then we'll come back tomorrow and it won't be infested probably, right? I don't know. I don't remember if that's how that works. Mine mechanics. Am I right, ladies? Am I right? Hey, yo. My girlfriend made it to affiliate today, but I took the wrong bus and got caught in the rain, so I missed its whole stream. Yo! Please pity party with me for a short moment. Happy 13 months. Jesus criminy. Chase. I love the name, by the way. Um, vibes. Happy 13 months. And I'm so sorry that you got caught in the rain. I, you know, we missed you. We missed you. Like, absolutely, we missed you. Because we need your knowledge. You're quintessential to the Stardew streams. And I'm sorry you got caught in the rain. Um, it's like rain is like rain on your wedding day that's kind of like i feel like that's something you should listen to right now but um thank you for coming and thank you for the resub and you're so sweet and kind and um please be safe out there don't get sickies don't you dare get sickies take care of yourself fuck shit get the fuck away you stupid slime bitch you stupid slime bitch Get the fuck out! Oh my god. Can somebody just, uh, hee hee, will give me a. Give me a laddie? Anybody wanna just give me a laddie real quick? It's like rain on your wedding day, yeah. Give me a ladder. Oh my god, it's already 10 20 p.m. Okay, but tomorrow is going to be the fucking first of summer. Y'all. Are y'all ready for this? 58. Do you think we're going to make it to 60? Oh, God. Not if this guy has anything to say about it. Get a load of this guy. Get a load of this guy, too. Jesus Christ. Okay. Might have been a waste. And you know what? Shit happens sometimes. We're just going to hope and pray for the best, right? Oh, here we go. We got some coal. Very coal. Like, very cool, but very coal. Okay, get away, get away, get away, get away. Fuck, shit balls. Okay, if I fucking do not make it to level 60, am I gonna cry? No. 
I just will be pissed. Actually. <gasps> Fuck. No, I just get out so I don't accidentally hit you. Come on, give it to me, Buster. Ah, oh, this sucks. Ah, oh, they're everywhere. I can't escape these damn bats. And it's getting late. Oh my god, no! No! Waste. Waste. God, I fucking hate this. Hate this. All right, I'm just leaving. Fuck it. You know what? Today was a big F. Take the L on that one, and that's okay. You know what? Sometimes things don't work out how you want them to. And with all of these restrictions, I am, you know, suffering, love. I'm suffering. It, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine! Next time. Next time. <laughs> you can't win them all, folks, okay? This is a hard one. This is a hard challenge. I'm trying my best here. But um, I'm yeah, I'm not the best at pre-planning. Heard there's a big drought in the Arizona and Cali area. Is that true? I think we're always in a drought. And I heard that in like 10, 15, 20 years, um, we're going to have a really, really bad water sourcing problem. And um, that's just an unfortunate truth. It's just an unfortunate truth of living in the Southwest unfortunately so yeah that is something that um plagues us and um what can you do right try to save and conserve water as much as you can but yeah it's gonna be like a really really big problem in the next couple decades um sourcing water this is a um community center object so we should bring that too Okay, tomorrow is the first of summer. We're gonna do first of summer, and then I think we're gonna drink and drive in Mario Kart. Is that cool with everybody? I gotta finish my coffee so that I I can start drinking wine. Huh? Restrictions. Oh God, did I change the stream title? Probably not. Okay, happy summer first. My copper copper watering can is ready. Uh, let's see. Let me. I'm so bad. I never change shit. Um, vegan farm. No combat. No fish. No animals. That's basically the restrictions. We're a vegan, pacifist, cruelty-free farmer. And we're freaking proud. We are just so proud. Happy summer, everybody. Happy summer. Summertime. This is so exciting. This is just so exciting. I just can't wait. Okay, so um, why do I have these with me? I don't know. I don't know why I have the frozen tear. I am going to drop that off, actually. But I need to go to get... Um, Hello. I need to go and get my copper watering can at some point today. What we're gonna start off doing is, first of all, can I make sprinklers? A uh, copper bar, iron bar? I really do need to go get more copper. I should have done that instead of try to be a hero. I could make two sprinklers, like if I really wanted to. I don't have any in here, right? Like I'm not crazy. Okay, so I'll make a spot for two sprinklers. Because that'll just be nice to have. Um, spend a little bit of that iron, you know? Okay, so there's one. Two. I think. Oh, God. I keep losing track. I keep losing track. Okay, so we got a spot for two little sprinklers. Look at that. Great planning. Great planning. Uh, what else? Boom. Is it that much? Four adjacent tiles every morning? Oh yeah, because it's just a regular sprinkler. Oh, what a bummer. That's okay. 
So wait, four adjacent tiles. How much does this little guy water? He only waters... He only waters... These tiles, right? Four adjacent tiles. Like one, two, three, four. And then we've got one, two, three. Huh? Am I correct? Just those little, those little freaking not so great sprinklies. When are we playing Mario Kart? We're gonna play uh, after I'm done with this day. And then we're gonna do drinking and driving. Yeehaw! You really needed me, huh? I did. I always need you. <laughs> when are we not in a drought? <sighs> drought vibes. Okay, is that correct for those sprinklers? God damn. That is not a lot, baby. That is not a lot. So we've got a lot of... I'm trying to be organized here. That's why this is a problem. Okay, so we've got one, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, so we've got nine here. What's nine plus nine? I am an organized farmer, I promise. Nine plus nine. And then a nine plus nine. <laughs> Brenna Beloved, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate you. Okay, nine plus nine. And then, ah, me being so organized. Three. Oh my God, look, this is gonna be so fucking cute. Hold on a minute. Am I gonna have enough energy to water these? We'll see. We will see. Brenna, thank you so much. Watch your YouTube, excited to see you on Twitch. Thank you so much for joining. Right now we're starting summer, first day of summer, year one of my vegan farm playthrough that I play on stream. So like vegan only, cannot use, make animal products and I cannot um, like kill monsters, can't go fishing, none of that. So those are kind of the restrictions I have. So I'm really, there's an emphasis on crappies, a big emphasis on crappies. Uh, so I'm trying to get everything planted and all ready to go. It's already 10.40 a.m. Jesus criminy. I have to make sure I make it over. Get my watering can. But I have to put my little fields down. Okay? Uh, just to make me happy. <laughs> and I have three... Whoa. Get out of here. Get out of here. I have three... Mm. 18. Okay, thank you. Sorry, I'm just a mess. I don't want to think about stupid numbers. Who the fuck counts? 18. So I have one, two, three, four, five fields of 18. So I can buy like a lot of CDs today. We'll do five fields of 18. I'll get rid of that tree too. Maybe not today, maybe tomorrow. Five fields of 18, okay? Five fields of 18. And then I have two of these little weird four adjacent ones. Eventually I wanna do like the better sprinkler, you know what I mean? So that I can be happy and experience happiness. Um, so that it will water the eight adjacent tiles every morning. Spice berry. Summer crop, anybody? Or summer foraging? What are the other summer foraging things? Uh, <laughs> summer foraging. Oh, that's crops. Silly. Okay, spice berry, grape, and sweet pea. I would love to find those today, but also we have like 28 days to do that. Okay, so not a really big issue. Okay, here we are. We have five groups of 18, so you have 98. 98 with the adjacent ones. So with those ones, I will probably just do some like quick little one-off puppies on there, you know? 
Okay, pepper seeds will continue to produce after first harvest. So this needs to be an, um, I'm just gonna sell these real quick. This needs to be an 18. Why not? Um, after that, we have for our community center. So we need to do tomato, blueberry, melon, right? Tomato, blueberry, melon. And then also, we've got, oh my god, to do sunflower. Poppy. Is that fall though? I don't know. Is Summer Spangle not on here? Is that my other save? Is that why maybe I'm a little confused? I think I'm, I think I'm onto something there. There's the artisan, artisan bundle. Oh, okay, yes, we wanna make sure we do quality corn and quality melon. Okay, I was confused there for a second, but I think I've seen the light, I think I've seen the light. Yeah. No summer spangle, right? Poppies are summer. Okay, vibes. Um, so let's do blueberries. Blueberries should be a 36 to be quite honest. Okay, let's do a 36. If I can afford it, darling. Let me start with 18. I'll probably be able to afford it. Uh, tomato. Tomato. 18. Okay, so that's three out of the five of them. Um, the melons needs to be an 18. And then we need to, we'll do a four of the poppy. Oh, we still need a corn. So we have one, two, three, four. Okay, sunflower poppy. I'll plant spangle in a second. I am, instead of doing a 36 for blueberries, what I'm gonna do is fucking shit balls. We're gonna start here. We're gonna start here. I need to get corn, but also like, I don't need need to get corn. I need to focus on these for a second. Um, and it's gonna drive me crazy if things are growing at the same time or at different times. I want things to grow at the same time. So like, I'm not gonna buy like half of a little field. I can make adjustments, but I am trying to be the organized farmer. I am, look at, look at all this effort I put into making my little fields, okay? Oh shit, I forgot to go get my watering can. God damn it, God damn it. I forgot to get my little watering can. Okay, so let me plant my little pops. Little pops, little sunnies. <laughs> I'll do my melons here. Get a load of these melons. Melons and then tomatoes. This one will be peppers. Hear me out. Okay, I gotta go. I gotta go. I'll do the blueberries when I come back. Gotta run. I totally forgot. <clears throat> it's the Lissy and Chase show. Hee <laughs> hee. Get a king or a queen bed for a new apartment. I mean, I guess it depends on your needs. If you are like sleeping with another person, you can do a king bed would be sick. But king bed for yourself, that's like luxury. And if you need it, if you're one of those people that like needs it. You know, um, or I don't know. I mean, Carson and I do a queen bed, which is miserable. We want a king bed so bad. <laughs> someday, someday. Our bedroom's not big enough to have a king bed anyways. So maybe next time we move, that's something that we totally need. You know, it just depends on your needs, but you can do it on a queen bed. King bed is luxurious though. Up oh, 10 iron. I'm all over the place. I'm doing things that don't even matter. Don't even matter for the first day of summer. What's wrong with me? I don't know. 
I'm keeping one of these little geodes so I can just real quick donate it to the community center because that is part of a community center bundle. Believe it or not. Ripley's, believe it or not. Um, is there anything Gunther can tell you? Gunther can tell you. Oh, you will buy the Jaggerite from me because I have already donated that. And that is pretty nice to just, I guess, have that money, I suppose. Not thinking about it too hard. Working and lurking. Thank you so much for lurking. I appreciate you. And um, shout out to working. Get off your ass and work. It seems like nobody wants to work these days. <laughs> hey, I got a reward. Is that 30? Bruh. Jade Hills. Epic reward moment. Room is so small. Wish we would have gotten a full, but I hate being touched my sleep. Oh, okay. So you have a queen and your room small. I hate being touched in your sleep. I want a king bed so bad. It's like cool and everything. Um, you know, to be close to your partner, but not that close. Also, Tiny takes up a lot of fucking space on the bed. He sleeps in the bed with us. <sighs> he gives me back problems, man. I always have back problems thanks to him. I'm also slouching right now. So like, hey, maybe I should, maybe I should not do that, right? But Tiny, man, he takes, he is so big. He's a big boy. All right, um, I... Maybe I will have time to put these in today, but I'll do them later. Most definitely. Most definitely. Uh, I need to plant these bloobs. These blubberies. So we've got blubberies. Oh, I was going to say, what the heck? Whoa. Put the painting in the crop field? No, stop. I just need energy. Look at that, you guys. I have a copper watering can. You're not seeing the full effects now, but let me tell you. Um, it is pretty exciting for me. Boom. Three whole this is like a Christmas miracle to me. Partner and I have been sleeping in a full since we started dating about four years, and we're super snuggly, so it works out for us. I'm not. It's like it's I like to snuggle like that's cool and everything I'll do that but um the biggest thing for me is that it just gets so fucking hot in this godforsaken hell state that like and I'm just like hot at night and I don't know I just I, I need I need space it just gets disgustingly hot You not have AC? I do. It doesn't help though. Um, big problem if you don't live anywhere that has a fucking heat problem like Arizona. Um, you can have your AC set like at night and then by the morning it goes up like five degrees because like the sun starts shining. So when you wake up, chances are you're either going to go to sleep freezing or you're gonna wake up sweating. Unless you are rich and have like a fucking cool ass air conditioner that's like controlled. But yeah. Um, or if you're rich and have great fucking window covers. You know what I mean? Sorry, it's just gonna bother me if that's like not all filled in and looking all cute. Okay, I just have to make sure it looks cute. And then that's perfect. Okay, cool. And then these will all be growing. I don't have enough money to do that one field just yet, but we could do blueberries. We could do other things. I don't know. Just depends on where the wind takes us. <clears throat> King bed with my ex. It made me sad. Turn over. Couldn't feel him. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I'm not like... I don't know. I just like my space. Like sleeping is complex for me because I'm just like, just, yeah, not super good at sleeping anyways. And so I just need to be like left the fuck alone. <laughs> I'm like, so the opposite. <laughs> Love having a full bed because snuggles with a partner needs the room to stretch his long limbs. Yeah, I'm, I don't give a fuck. 
Snuggles are cool and stuff, but not while I'm actively sleeping. Like, get away from me. <laughs> mm. Nothing else? Nothing else? Ah, look at it! Not bad. Got all sorts of good stuff planted. Yeah, maybe blueberries, maybe corn. Actually, like if I think about it, I should start corn, corn and over here. This is where the corn should be hip happening. Corn fields. Oh, would you look at that too? Okay, it's 9 p.m. Um, I was about to be like, oh wait, let me take this to the thing. Is this still, because remember when I got the, this bundle that had sap. Okay, yes! Oh, Grezen is an enchanter's bundle thing. Fuck yeah! Hell yeah, bitch! And we got a spice berry! Which is kind of cool, I guess. Yeah, all right. Here we are. We figured it out, everybody. We're going to the community center. And we're just going to donate some things that we have. I also think... There was nothing else, correct? There was nothing else that needed to go to the community center? I do not think so. Oh, I will take the long way, long way though. See if I can find any other forageables on this road. Screw it. Okay, and then after we're gonna be drinking and driving in Mario Kart. Drinking and driving. <clears throat> if it's not like 62, can't feel the nearest person for miles, I honestly can't. That is so funny. 62 is so cold. How are you okay? Like, are you, um, wow. How, how do you do that? 62. Disgusting. Trilobite. Um, okay. Well, I don't see anything, but also I'm blind and I can't really see shit, so. It's very fucking dark, you guys. It's very dark. Um, yeah, that's it. That's all, folks. Vegan save is going extremely well. In the grand scheme of things, yes. It's going extremely well. Oh, um, you know what I... Hmm. Hmm. Oak resin. Field research, frozen geode. Spiceberry, you're going in. 62, 62 shorts weather, absolutely not. I've had a lot of thoughts lately about how much I like fucking hate how hot it is in Arizona. And as much as I love, I like do like the heat. Um, It really fucking bothers me how insanely hot it is. It makes me tired and like depressed. I don't know. But I hate the cold as well. I don't think I ever would want to live somewhere where it snows. Uh, because I fucking hate that. I also can't really do humidity that much. I keep thinking about how I want to move somewhere. That it just doesn't get so insanely hot. <sighs> Wouldn't it be cool to move to California? I, I've been thinking about it a lot lately, you guys. But I don't think I could ever just like do that. Sounds so fucking expensive. I don't know how, I don't know how people move to a state that's expensive because it's like, how do you make up the difference? Like the second you get there, you're like fucked, you know? I don't understand. Anyways, day one of summer. Yeah, we did it. Los Angeles. <laughs> Just moved to Vegas. Vegas sucks too, doesn't it? Doesn't it get just as hot there as it does here? What's the temp in Vegas right now? That's why I need to leave New York City. It's so expensive and I'm suffering. It's so expensive there. I definitely can understand how you could be suffering. Um, okay, so we're gonna play Mario Kart 8. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -da. Um, we're gonna play Mario Kart 8. So feel free to join us for Mario Kart. Um, anybody is open to play. Um, I'm gonna be drinking and driving. I think I have wine, so that's going to be fucking horrible. I'm excited. It's going to be sick. Um, let me go ahead and boot her up real quick. I have to put the game card in. 
Because I have a physical game because, you know, that's just like, that's just like really important to me is like collecting physical objects. Start your Hollywood career. I would do, what kind of movies would I do? I feel like I would be a, I don't even know. Why don't they make movies anymore with like the Drew Barrymore, Jennifer Aniston types where it's like you're in a comedy movie, but you're not that funny. So you're just like hot lady. I would totally do that. Where are those movies being made? Nowhere, literally nowhere. Just like the sexy lady lead in a comedy movie. That's what I would want to be. Hollywood is sick of hot women. It makes me sick. What was the last hot woman you ever seen? Hollis would. <laughs> I'm from the Chicago area and I moved for, away from for school because I was like, Chicago is so expensive, which it is. I moved to fucking Boston. <laughs> is Boston like not insanely expensive? That's what I thought too. That's so funny. <laughs> Taco Bell Cantina Bell. Yo! Hold on, I fucked up my mouse speed. How did I do that? I need it to be the fastest speed, otherwise I can't function. Taco Bell Cantina Bell. Okay, um, before I boot up Mario Kart, I do have to take a piss. So, if you would like to join into the races, um, the Mario Kart command, I believe, gives you the room code. So feel free to do that. Um, I have to piss, though, so I'll be back in a second. I don't think I'm going to start, like, the little words on stream. I'll just be right back. So, two shakes. Um, if you want to join the room, it is Man Mario Kart. BRB. I am back, loves. Thank you so much for waiting for me. Um, let's get Mario Kart started. So I gotta turn off my nostalgic Pokemon music mix because we are carting, okay? We are up in our cart shit. I also, um, while I am getting ready to join Lissy's Turn of Mussy, like all of you guys, if you'd like to join, let me just send out another ping. To the Discord, see if anybody wants to come through and play some Mario. <laughs> Yeehaw. Okay, um, looking good. Also, for Mario Kart, I typically have to up my bit rate so that you guys can even fucking say it. Um, because that's just how the cookie crumbles, you know? So hopefully the stream will look good. Um, feel free to join us. I'm gonna go ahead and hop in here. Join Lissy's Tournamessy, absolutely. I always play Daisy. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and keep the car. You know, I need to hop back on the bike pretty soon here, but let me close the door real quick. Okay, yes. So how it works when you join Lissy's Turn of Mussy is it's like a lobby that kind of like cycles us all through. Um, so if the longer you're in the lobby, the more people from the lobby that you play with. So yeah, I don't know. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. That's how we figured it out. So feel free to come join and come play Mario Kart. You might not get to play with everybody in chat and me right away, but you know. You know, we don't have that too many people. We don't have too many people. <clears throat> you and Corn Cobb are in a race on your own right now. <laughs> Vibes. No, I joined you guys. See? I see I'm with you guys. I'm gonna come on in. Alright, here we go. Okay. I haven't had any wine yet, so I'm completely sober. This is my warm-up, you know? No big deal, it's my warm-up. Oh god. I remember Boosted and Honey last time we were playing. You guys were pretty good. <laughs> Gets me nervous. Yes! Suck my dick! 
Oh shit, Bob! No! Who is that man? <laughs> no, not again. What the hell? <coughs> I'm gonna choke. I'm gonna choke. I'm gonna throw up. Oh my god, I don't know what's going on. This is a good map though. I like this. Get fucked. Get- Oh my god, get wrecked. Get wrecked. Oh, where am I going? <laughs> I was like, where the hell am I? Oh my god. <gasps> You're joking. How am I doing so fucking bad? Fuck you, John. Uh. <laughs> alright, alright. This is redemption. This is my redemption. Why do I suck so many dick and balls? Jesus. Okay, I got a bullet. I got a bullet, you guys. Oh, let me have a little sip. Alright. Whew. I'm having some dark horse. Any other red wine drinkers? Oh, oh, fuck you, bro! Oh my god, Frankie Clown Car. You will rue this day. You will fucking rue this day. Are you joking? Oh my god. <laughs> That's what you get. That's what you get. Alright, fourth place. How did this happen? I don't even know how this happened. I don't deserve this, actually. Damn. Oh, I thought that was the last lap. Okay. Am I drunk? <laughs> Me has one sip of wine. <laughs> okay. There we go. There we go. Um, five months with oh. Mr. Lassacy, hashtag bless. No way. Levi, thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for the five months, baby! Alright. Got another red shell? Who's in first? Oh my god. Well... Enjoy your blue shelly. Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. <gasps> no fucking way. No way. No way. I am so sorry. Who is in first? Who is in first? I am so sorry. Like, I did not deserve that whatsoever. Boosted. I am so sorry. I did not mean to do you so dirty. That is so messed up. That is so messed up. Okay. Okay. Wow. Wow. That was like criminal. That. Wow. I'm so sorry. Okay. You know what? <laughs> you know what? Boosted. Since I just ruined. I, I'm so sorry to do that to you. I'm gonna go ahead and gift you a sub. <laughs> you don't deserve this. Anyways. Cheers to first place, everybody. This is when friendships are broken. Oh, just kidding. I fucking can't gift you a sub, apparently. <laughs> Boosted. I got you. I'll gift you a sub. Me. Lies. Lies through my fucking teeth. Oh, I know why. Okay, wait till after this race. I got you. I got you. <laughs> I can't believe I'm starting in first place on Wario's Mountain or whatever the hell. Wario's Mountain Ussy. Wario's. You are so hot and sexy. Love you, best. Uh, uh, thanks, Levi. Thanks. I appreciate you. All right. All right. <laughs> I, thank you. I'm like, I would have gotten it. I just have to put in a new card because I, I remember when I was like, I went in and I was like, hey, my card's not working. And I was like, but I need to keep my card number. Like, it's so annoying every time I have to do this because your card sucks so much shit that I have to change my card number. And they were like, oh yeah, absolutely. Like, no problem, we got you. Then they hand me a card with a completely different number. And I'm like, fuck you. It literally is so annoying. I was, I only went in because I was like, my chip's broken for the 20 millionth time. Um, constantly happens. And they don't even have the decency to give me the same silly little card number. It's not their fault, but at the same time, I'm gonna need my bank to get better cards. Just saying, just saying. All right, this is my redemption, by the way. Like, I've really gotta like, <laughs> I gotta do better here. 
thank God I had the little the little wheel thing. I never know what to do with it. I just kind of mush mush mash it all. I'm like yeah, something here is gonna help me. Yeah, I like missed all of those. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no. Jesus criminy. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. Fuck my life! Okay, here we go. Here we go. Tenth place? No! How did I go from first to tenth? I was doing so good. And you know what? I'm just gonna take the banana. I don't even care. This is so sad. Oh. <laughs> What's this gonna do? Anything? 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 You got me? Oh shit! When did I get that? Oh my god, no. I'm sorry, corn cob. I'm so sorry, everybody. I'm so sorry. I don't deserve eighth place. I don't deserve eighth place. God damn it! Ooh, what do we want? I feel like, is it just me or is it, is there not a lot of carts or carts, courses in Mario Kart or something? Because like, God damn, I feel like we get all the same races all the time. Sorry, Skyline. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate you. Oh god, am I gonna get this in time? <laughs> eee! No, I gotta do it later. What is this one? Is this Cloud Top or something? Ring drop. Cloud Top. Oh, sorry, get fucked. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. Oh shit, how did that happen? Okay. Guys, I gotta get off the little car. I'm so slow. Oh my god, <laughs> get wrecked. <gasps> no! That was karma. That was, wow. Wow! I hit somebody with a green shell, and so therefore I got hit by my own green shell. That sucked balls. That sucked balls. Oh, no! Oh, yes, 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 yes. I, I missed that one, thank god. Thank god! <laughs> Thank God I'm bad at driving! <laughs> oh shit! No! Damn it! Why do I do this? Oh, okay, you're. Okay. I have the little, um, what's it called? The little stinker on? <laughs> the little assist? It's like, no, ma'am. No, ma'am. You're not taking any of these shortcuts, ma'am. Here we go. This is my redemption here. Okay, wow, wow, what the fuck is happening? All right, here we go. I wasted that entire golden mushroom. The golden mushrussy. Ah, <sighs> stress. Here we go. Redemption? Yes, no, maybe so? No? Mm, we'll see. I'm so stressed. God damn it. I hate getting this golden mushroom. Give me something that's gonna help me. I guess the golden mushroom does help. But like, not that much! <laughs> God, I hate that. I... I'm a hater. I'm a hater, okay? This is a close one. I feel like we're all so close together. Oh my god.
fifth. Not bad, everybody. Not bad. Wow. Wow. Okay. You know what? It was a close one. We're all so... We're just all so close. We're all so fucking close. Ah! Balls. Dick and balls. Dick and balls, everybody. Dick and balls. Uh, which one do I want to do? I think I want to do Animal Crossing. You are so hot and sexy. Love you, bestie. Okay, great. I gifted a sub because I was gonna gift to boost it, and then everything got ruined. Um, because my credit card number changed. <laughs> Cannot play this game with a cart. I can't blame you. I don't know why I'm on a cart. I think it's because I, um, I was trying to play without the assist, which sucked and was just like such an unenjoyable experience. You know what I mean? I was trying to, and then, I don't know why I didn't switch it. Woohoo! Yeah! <laughs> Voting for music part because I like anarchy. Well, we're doing Big Blue, so, Big Blue right to you, my bluey. <clears throat> music park soundtrack is so good, I don't, I don't recall. I don't recall at all. I, uh, I just feel like we get the same maps over and over again. Is there not more maps in this godforsaken game? When are they going to release more maps, too? Because didn't they say they were going to do more than just, like, the Coconut Mall, Chaco, Chaco Mountain? Oh, God, I'm going to be sick. Oh, God, I'm going to be sick. <laughs> Oh shit. Oh my god. Nar. Why are we all so good? Can some of us just be bad? You know? Like, how, why is it so hard? I just, I feel like we're just all so close together. Like, can some of you just be bad and be in the back? Or maybe I need to just get good. <laughs> Oh my god, get fucked! Get fucked! Yeah, 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 yeah! Can I get the double box? The double box! You... You suck. You suck, Sydney. <laughs> Screw you, Sydney! <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ain't gonna get any worse. Ain't gonna get any worse. Okay. Let's. Nope. Keep trying. Keep trying, Liz. Nope. Okay. Okay. Alright, everybody. Everybody just hates me or what? Everybody just wants me to lose? Okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Oh! Secret! That was a secret. Was it? Or am I a liar? Oh shit, I thought I was still super... Oh, that was my bad. Oh, that was not my bad though. That, wow! I wasn't even allowed to finish. I was two feet away from it and it didn't even want to let me finish. Well. F's in the chat. I fucking can't even believe I just lost. I just lost. I don't want to play with you guys anymore. I want to play with people who are bad. <laughs> Cheers to 12th place. Oh, kidding. I guess I just can't fucking play with you guys. Did you guys all get that? Or was that just me? Yes, I do want to continue. Let me join. Oh, this is my op actually to change my cart I think I'm gonna do let me try this jet bike 
with these wheels. Let's try it, let's see. <coughs> I normally go for like a slower bike anyways. Oh shit, am I gonna play Coconut Mall by myself? Okay. <laughs> I was like, where are you guys? <laughs> Chanel, really? That's awesome. Are you going to put Sanrio villagers on your island? That'd be sick. That'd be sick. Yeah. It's on. It is on like Donkey Kong. I fucking love Coconut Mall and you guys can't take this away from me. This is the best song ever made in real life, actually. Oh, dude, I love being on the cart. Hells, yeah. Oh, we got another daisy. Dude, I love being fast. Gotta go first. And I can just, like, fucking turn, like, everywhere, you know? Like, this is awesome. No problem. Levi, we're matching daisies. This is awesome. God bless. Day zesty. Being day zesty. How many peeps are with us? Oh, fuck you, Levi. That was really good. That was really good. No, that was crazy. Oh my god, no. No. And I'm in here with Boosted. This is a nightmare. It's a nightmare. You guys are too good. Who else is in here? Ludwig. <laughs> Where even? Oh shit! I almost just. <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god! <gasps> no way. Oh, suck. Suck my dick, dude. Are you kidding me? No thoughts. Only Coconut Mall. Levi. Shit. And all they're gonna give me is a banana. I just gotta be faster. I have to be harder, better, faster, and stronger somehow. Also, how do I only have one coin and I'm going like this fast? This is absurd. This is absurd, darling. Wow, wow! That was a tough one. That was a close game. That was really close. We were all so like, toy. Damn! Damn! Skies, I might be lying. I might be lying. Uh, Neo Bowser City? <clears throat> You're not lying? Okay. Well, I just am scared of spreading misinformation on the internet. <clears throat> Actually, I love spelling. S -s 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 Sing misinformation on the internet. I can never keep the lead. Are you freaking kidding me? Are you kidding me? I'm terrible at this game. Fake news baddie. That's me. Huh? <laughs> me when I spread misinformation on the internet. Cheers to that. You need to leave. <laughs> this is a stacked lobby right here. A stacked lobby full of killers. Oh my god, and it's raining. Dude, this is exciting. I feel like we haven't done a map. This map, maybe? A map like this? I don't even know what the fuck this map is. Have we ever done this? 
I was like, this is crazy, you guys. Have you guys ever been here? <laughs> what is this? Where are we? <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, that was crazy. Oh, that was crazy. Keep trying to drift. I'm not the drift queen. Not the drift baddie. Stop. Stop trying to hit me with red shells. I know you guys are jealous of me. How is the stream looking, by the way? Does it get pretty crunchy when we're racing? Or is it pretty decent? Is it pretty mad decent? I've turned up the bit right. I figured we would all like that. We would all like to be able to see. But if it's not very good, um, I understand. And I can try to fix it. <clears throat> it's going to be a little bit crunchy, but like it shouldn't be like four pixels like how it normally is oh my god no leona why are you so fast <laughs> that was intense that was int oh my god she's back no oh my god what is happening i can't see so i'm like i don't know what the hell i'm doing yo wow Okay, here we go. Last shot. You only get one shot. Not miss your chance to race. God damn it. Can I go two seconds with having a good item and not getting electrocuted? Or like, booed? I fucking am sick of it. I'm sick of both of the boos and the electrocutes. This is insane. This is insane. This shouldn't be allowed. This should be legal. Shit, thank God for assist. Am I right? Oh, fuck you. Yeah, you know what? That blue shell has nothing to do with me. You didn't need to do all that. Bruh. Sixth. Not bad. <clears throat> Looks really good, TH. Yay, thanks, Brenna. Gonna die of boring hair disease. <clears throat> that's what I felt too when I stopped having bangs and then I just decided that I'm in my like hot babysitter era I have also decided that I can't do the bangs anymore um they're just far too long even though I got them trimmed like not too long ago they just grow so fucking fast and I'm like whenever my hair is down with bangs even if I volumize it and I do it, they're in my face. So I'm like, you know what? This is who I'm meant to be right here. This is it. This is it. Kitten Crossing, thanks so much for the follow. You guys are really into, excuse me. You guys are really into Music Park. I didn't peg you guys for Music Park lovers. Thanks, Jack. They don't make movies like that anymore. What happened to the babysitter movies? Oh my god, we got F0. Music Park is so good. I don't see what you guys see, but you know what? Maybe I'll maybe I'll open my heart to her. I will open my heart to her. What's your guys' favorite Mario Kart map <laughs> as we're about to start a race? What's your guys' favorite? Mine has to be Coconut Mall of all time as a Coconut Mall. And in this game, I love Sunshine Airport. I'm a slut for Sunshine Airport. There's also the one that's like you're like in a tree or something and you go on the water quite a bit. And I really like that one. <clears throat> Don't know what it's called, so I can't love it that much, right? <laughs> oh my god, I wanted that. <sighs> I'm really good at <laughs> not hitting any of the little boosties on the floor. Really good at actually avoiding them fully. That's my biggest strength in this world. These F-Zero ones are cool, but they're so fast. Oh my god, they're so fast. I don't even know what to do. -na 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 -na. I'm gonna throw up. It's just, it's too much winding and turning.
Oh, Jesus. Who's putting bananas down? Huh? Show yourself. Who is doing that? <laughs> Who's got bananas? Fucking more bananas? You're joking. You're joking. Who let that happen? <laughs> hey, I thought I was doing really good and then I saw that I'm in ninth. What the heck, everybody? What in the heck? It's just, you know, it's too close quarters. It's too close quarters. We've got to weed out some of you good people. How do we bully the best people in this game? Who's the, who's at number one right now? Oh, <gasps> you whores. You whores. How did that happen, huh? How did that happen? <gasps> Isabel, you will rue this day. Oh, my God. Stop! Every time I get something good, I get booed! Or I get lightninged! That's so fucking rude. So rude! Maple Treeway's good. Maple Treeway song slaps. Scary Castle one? Are you talking about the Scary Boo Castle one? Um, cause fuck the boos. Twisted Mansion? Are you talking about, um, are you talking about Bowser's Castle? Because Bowser's Castle, I think, is just always good all the time. <clears throat> Slid into second. Well, that's because you're lucky, so. <laughs> I'm going to wean. Maybe that's what it is. I need to play Waluigi so that I can say I'm going to win, and that's gonna make me win. I like the ones I'm good at. Yes, yes, actually. That's a good answer, good answer, good answer. <clears throat> Welcome in everybody, good luck, break a leg. I'm taking this one very seriously. <clears throat> I haven't been taking any of the ones that I've done really bad in seriously because, you know, I'm just practicing. Whoa, whoa, Nelly. Nelly, smelly. Leona, you better watch your back. <laughs> and Levi, what the hell? What in the heck? <laughs> Shoot! <gasps> I meant to hold it. I meant to hold my nanner. I dropped him. Oh, my nose is so itchy. Oh god, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh no, don't sneeze, don't sneeze. Oh, fuck. Thank god I have the assist on. Oh, Jesus. Jesus, criminy. <clears throat> my eyes are watering, I have to see. <sighs> oh, you tried. You tried to banana me. Oh shit. No. Oh no. No. How did that happen? Leona, you cheated. Yo, who cheated? I had so much hope and then Oh my god, yes! Wow. I just had so many I had like a literal roller coaster of emotions. It was like up like fuck yeah leona fell and then it was down it was like oh online glitch and then i still passed because you know what that's what winners do hell yeah told you guys 
told you guys, you know, I stopped. I, I was only practicing in the last one, so. Why do I always only get mushrooms on Rainbow Road? Dude, if I didn't have the assist on, there's no way I would have even gotten close. I would have... <laughs> I would have been on like the second lap by the time you guys all finished. In fact, I did not watch my back. You know what? Get what you get, Levi. Get what you get. <laughs> <clears throat> Cheers, everybody. To drinking and driving. Sunshine. Slut Shine Airport. It was made for the girls. <clears throat> We're all so good. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much, everybody, for playing with us today. You know what it means a lot. If you guys are just hopping in, um, you should join the lobby <clears throat> using the Mario Kart code. Command Mario Kart, and then um, it kind of like cycles us all around. So I'm playing with Leona again. Damn. Damn. How is Leona allowed to start in first? Excuse me. Excuse me, I just beat Leona, actually. That is fucking cheating. Literally cheating. Okay, but at least it's Sunshine Airport, so like I'll live with that. Oh my god, fuck. Fuck, that was my own show! Fuck my life! No! I knew it was coming! I knew it was coming! <laughs> alright, 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 alright. Here we go. This one won't be as chaotic, because not everybody's here. It's just a couple of us, but I still have a chance. Still have a chance. We've got this, you guys. We've fucking got this. Patchy? Watch your back. Watch your backy. Batchy. Yo! Oh, Jill! Hello! How are you? How was your stream? Thank you so much for the raid. Um, I'm sucking dick and balls at Mario Kart right now, but how was your stream? What were you doing? If you guys want to join, by the way, um, it is a drinking and driving stream. Uh, no, like, drinking rules or anything, you know? Not doing the whole, like, start and stop. Can't really do that online, can you? But, uh... <clears throat> you know, I'm having fun. I'm having a little glassy poo of wine. A little bit of Dark Horse. No Katy Perry. But, um... Yeah, feel free to join us if you guys want to play Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Wow, you guys are really fucking good at this game, huh? It's like really good at this game. I'm coming. Watch me get hit with my own green shell again. You know, that's just my luck. That's just like how it works with me, alright? Everybody's in sight, though. Everybody is right here. Watch out. Oh, fuck you, bro. What the fuck? I, that blue shell literally has nothing to do with me, and it's still... Ah, it was so annoying. What if I just started crying? I was like, you guys are just so fucking good. Like, I hate it here. Oh, my God. Get fucked, Leona. I'm so sorry. Oh! <gasps> Why? Why does it, when anything good happens to me, you guys, anything fucking good happens to me or I do something cool and legit, it doesn't even matter. That sucks, dick. All right, this is my last chance. Fuck, no, no. No, 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 I don't deserve this. No! I got beat by Inkling Boy and Morton. That is so embarrassing. I literally want to like go crawl in a hole. <clears throat> She's not a Heck yeah, Nicole. No! Played Nintendo Switch Sports today. Made it bad if I didn't get first place in ranked bowling by the end of the stream. I'd gift a sub to my channel. I won. Yes. First place in ranked bowling? Jeez, that's kind of hard. You kind of have to be perfect and also just not get kicked out. <laughs> that is sick. Congratulations. I love this little lobby of like just us. Like it's just a little bit of us. 
and that's fun. <laughs> Hopping on Mario Kart for the night. Oh, I miss you. Who else is drinking besides me and Biblically Accurate Jester? Anybody else drinking and driving? Personally, that makes me a better driver. <laughs> you know when people say that? People are like, I can totally, I like totally can smoke weed and drive because like it just like literally makes me more alert of a driver. It's like, shut the fuck up. I hate you. <laughs> oh, sorry. Not, sorry not to call some of you out, maybe. You know, sorry. I feel bad. I don't hate you, but I think you're silly. I think you're silly pants. I think sometimes you just wear too many silly pants at one time, you know? I think you need to calm down with how silly your pants are. All right. <laughs> hey, I like this one. What is this? I really like this one. Oh, this is the dragon. Yes, because we're going in his mouth. Yes, I like this one. You know, I really don't like the new one that is from the DS. You guys know what I'm talking about? The new one that's like Tokyo something. Actually, I don't know if it's called Tokyo something. But it's got like... <clears throat> I believe Japanese themings, and I'm just like, mm, I don't like that one that much, but I really, really like Dragon Driftway. Dragon these nuts, Driftway. Dude, fuck yeah. Um, I'm like not even close. Dragon these nuts! Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's got nothing to do with me. <laughs> Hell yeah. No. No, I do not accept this. No. 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 No, Mello, you ruined my life. Oh god, and now I really don't know what the hell I'm doing. I can't see. Hey, so you damn thing. Jesus, why am I doing so fucking terrible right now? Hold on. Oh my god, no. No! I hate this. I hate this! Morton and Dry Bones beat me this time. Alright, I gotta get more wine. Mm. I'll do a chocolate mountain. I haven't done that in a long time. Where is everyone? I think it's cycling us between lobbies. There's like one lobby that's like full. And then I think we play like probably like what? Like four races or something as our little lobby. Little lobby for babies. <clears throat> Mar, don't disconnect. I believe in you. Hey, cheers, everybody. Oh, I love this one. Finally, something that's not like the same four maps that we always play. Hell yeah! <laughs> I really need a Jeff Bezos hell yeah sound. Hell yeah! I thought I could do it. There was a part of me that really thought... And um... What the fuck? Where am I? Hello, Tiny. Tiny, you better not be naughty. <clears throat> this one is just so peaceful. Like, I just feel like I'm, like, at peace right now. I'm feeling at peace right now, right now. Oh, my God, get wrecked. Get wrecked. Whoa, whoa, there, girl. Whoa. Oh. Oh, no. And I got my mushroom taken away. And no. Uh, 
I was at full concentration mode too. This is ridiculous. And I didn't even get a box. I didn't even get a box. Oh my god, this is horrible. It's horrendous. Horrendous. Yeah, I fucking knew you were gonna do that, Mar. Oh, that was mellow. I fucking knew you were gonna do that. <laughs> ah, I'm not letting Inkling Boy and fucking Ludwig beat me, okay? There's a little shorty, huh? There's a little shorty. I got melody in mine. Okay. How is Roy? NPC Roy doing so good. You just connected Mar? Oh no. My tweet was in a Polygon article. I saw. We looked at it earlier. Why did they steal my tweet? Pay me. Polygon pay me. I mean, also kind of flattering because like, you know, kind of like famous, right? Kind of like a little bit famous. Aaron, thank you so much for the follow. How rude. Sam, don't you think they should pay me? Fuck you, pay me. I wonder if I'm gonna have wine mouth at the end of the stream. I already feel like I kind of do. I feel like I'm like just having like a little more fun. <laughs> Nooch Toots, this is for you. I'm gonna win this one for you. Have fun getting your Taco Bell. God, this sounds so fucking good right now. Carson's making me turkey taco salad, which is fucking lit, you guys. It's lit, literally lit. Love that man. I walked out there to refill my wine. <laughs> yeah, babe, my job entails me today to uh, drink wine. He's like, I'm making a turkey taco salad in case you get hungry. I'm like, you are literally my soulmate. Like, I love you so much. <laughs> Who does that? Wifey. That's hubby right there. That's hubby right there. No, stop. I've tried so hard to collect so many coins, Mellow, and you just ruined my life. You just ruined my life! Oh, well, have fun with your blue shell. Mellow, more like blue shellow. Yeah, that's what you get. Karma. It all comes back to you in the end, huh? It all comes back. <laughs> I feel like I'm so confrontational right now. <sighs> Shit. Zara! Zara's coming in hot. Big contender. Just zooted at me. Just went... Dit. Beep, beep. Concentrate. Concentrate! Okay. There we go. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Last lap. Predictions, guys. Get your predictions in. Anything's gonna happen. Zara. I don't know what I had to say, but I wanted- I had to say something. Dude, I love this course because it's like so easy to collect coins. They just happen to be in the places that I am. Typically, I'm like the best at avoiding coins. Okay, but this kind of sucks. I don't have anything on me. Oh, shit. Oh, no. No. Why did it take me so long to start back up again? <gasps> no way. Did I just do it? No way. <gasps> That was the sickest shit I have ever seen. I'm sorry, Zara. Get you don't cool. deserve that. Mm. Junk drawer. Thank you so much for the three months. Thank you. My mom bought pizza hot, which I didn't have in forever. Loki prefer it cold. I like my pizza to sit out for a little bit before I eat it. A cold pizza is like okay, but like I don't like it when it's like piping hot. I like for my cheese to be like not so melted, which is kind of like I think a little bit borderline psychotic, but. Yes, I understand what you mean. Okay, you know what? We drove by the other day. We, I'm so excited. There's a Papa Murphy's. 
Do you guys like Papa Murphy's? My friend used to work there. Papa Murphy's gimmick is that they just give you the pizza frozen. You know what I mean? Is it just us? Is this a is this a face off between me and Chloe? How do we join your guys' lobby where is all of you guys? Papa Murphy's a slay, dude. Slay pussy. Me versus Piss Baby. The ultimate showdown. Should we just kiss instead? <laughs> Isabelle and Daisy. I bet you there's something out there. You uh probably don't have to look super hard. Isabel Daisy kiss? Cartoon. <laughs> I am a little feeling a little deranged right now. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm really drinking a little wine. <laughs> so smiling. Oh yeah, thanks to you guys. Um, the other night when I was out drinking, I literally did the little Mario like 20 times and people were like what is wrong with you uh... <clears throat> and I hate to say it but it's just a lifestyle you know okay damn damn shoddy okay <laughs> but I was definitely like the most annoying person out so yeah all your guys' fault This is ridiculous. How am I even supposed to catch up? I gotta get a box. Should have gone up there. Maybe it'd be faster. Ooh, -hoo. maybe it'd be faster. I feel like it's not faster to go up there because wow, that was like, that was quick, you know. Um, where even are you? Oh my God, you're so far away. Shit. Oh, and I got booed. God oh, damn it. Okay. This is my redemption. Fucking fuck you, actually. Just fuck you. Whoever did the little lightning, fuck you. I need this. Double box. All we can do is try, folks. All we can do is try. Hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah, brother. Yeah. Oh, shit, yeah. Still got a box. Fuck. Balls. Shit balls. Oh my god. Piss baby face off. Results are in. Results are in. Epic gamer moment, ayo. Hey guys, I think I, I definitely have a little wine mouth going on. Here's to that. <laughs> oh, DK Jungle, vote for DK Jungle, everybody. Okay, who's my favorite me right now? I can't see the me that's under me. Oh, now I can. My favorite me is the pink hair little one. <laughs> F-Zero maps go crazy. They go crazy, but they're too fast for me. They're way too fast. How turnt would my stomach be if on top of all this alcohol I added ice cream? Dude, this used to be my ritual before I decided that I need to chill on ice cream. Come home after a long day, glass of red wine, and a scoop of ice cream, a scoop of vanilla bean ice cream with raspberries, blueberries, strawberries, whatever's in season, baby. So good, so good. Elite, elite combo. Um, but you know what? You know what sucks about that? I can't eat ice cream right now. I'm not doing it. <clears throat> so even just thinking about that makes me so sad. So sad. But you know what? I can have a little glass of red wine. 
whenever I want to. No, okay. It's somebody that's educated. Um, shit. Thought maybe I would get ya. Um. Fuck. Somebody told me red wine is, like, healthy for you. <laughs> like, it, it does something, like, it's, like, actually, like, good for you to have, like, maybe, like, a little bit of red wine every once in a while. Is that true? I've always known that, like, oh, like, pregnant people are, are pregnant people uh, are allowed to have red wine. Like, one little glass of red wine every once in a while. Shit. Ooh. Ooh, I got lucky. Oh, where am I going? Hello? <laughs> ring, ring, hello? I did that because I thought I was going to get hit, but I guess I wasn't. <laughs> A little wine as a treat. I also saw that the longest living cats, um, like ever, the longest living cats ever, they have like a little bit of red wine every night. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. You did not deserve. <gasps> you, piss baby. Well, I tried to get you, but you know. Oh my god, I'm sorry, Mello. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. This is intense. This is more intense than camping. Hey yo. I forgot what I was talking about, but the longest living cats have a little bit of red wine every day. And their owner just like gave them a little wine, gave them a little human food, and they live to be like 30 or some shit. Which is insane to me. How? Blueberries are good for you. Antioxidants in the fruit, and it's correct. A glass a day is good for your heart. A lethal wine is a treat. Older brother was literally prescribed red wine by his doctor to help his cholesterol. You guys, okay, I'm just gonna be drinking a glass of red wine every night from now on. Bunny tracks ice cream. Mm. Everything that is fermented is good for your immune system and gut flora. So like kombucha, what else is fermented? Like alcohol, right? Or like beer? Superbell Highway. I feel like we haven't done that in a minute. Pickles? Thank God. Oh my God, I'm a pickle bitch. I am obsessed with pickles. Obsessed with pickled things. Yogurt? Yogurt um, is iffy for me. Here's the thing about yogurt. Yogurt is foul. But if you have a good yogurt to stuff inside of your yogurt ratio, it's okay. If if I go and I take a scoop of my yogurt and it's all yogurt and nothing on my spoon, it's a no-go. I have to have granola. I gotta have fruit. I gotta have something. Coconut flakes, something on there. Like, it, there's no way. Pickled red onions, pickled anything. Pickled anything. I'm absolutely obsessed. I'm slanging it out for pickled anything, okay? <laughs> Kimchi, sauerkraut, oh hell yeah, sauerkraut. Anybody else a sauerkraut girl? Dude, I just love all things smelly and stinky, so I probably have the best gut health. <laughs> like are we kidding, huh? Oh my God, that sounds delicious right now, a little pickled onion. Dude, just eating straight up pickled onion, like nothing better, nothing better. The other night I had a pickled carrot, and I think I've had a pickled carrot before. I think my roommate made them for me once. But last night I had a pickled carrot, and I was like, mmm, delicioso. I am so sorry, piss baby. <clears throat> Ooh, that was close. That was too close for comfort. Oh, yeah. Pickled carrot? I know, it was weird. It was weird. You can pickle anything, though. Damn, how did I get this in second place? You guys better watch out. I'm coming. Whoever's in first place, I'm coming. How far am I? How far am I? How far am I? Ooh. Little burpee. I keep missing the cool sword thing. I don't think I've ever in the history of me playing Mario Kart gotten it. Okay, whoa.
Whoa. <clears throat> Focus. <laughs> Eat my shell. No! <gasps> Every time. Every fucking time, dude. Oh my god, that sucks shit. Oh my god. Fuck you. That wasn't to anybody in particular, but to the... Oh shoot, I missed it. To the little lightning. Okay. All of you guys are great, and you're all so good at this game. <laughs> Meanwhile, I feel mid-skis. Okay. Yes! Yes! Sid? Hey, not bad, not bad, not bad. I wasn't doing super hot anyways. I like this course, but I'm not good at this course yet, you know? Pickled shallots and garlic at the moment. I don't think I've ever had pickled garlic. Fried pickles? Yes. Everywhere you go. Here's the thing. Fried pickles, though, it has to be pickled chips. It cannot be pickled spears. Pickled spears are fucked up. Like, fried pickle spears, no. No, 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 no. It's blasphemous. Trader Joe's had fried pickles? No way. Well, fried pickles are, like, kind of easy to make. Low key. Like, you just make your own fried pickles. But also, I'm probably gonna buy them from Trader Joe's. Do I like gorgonzola cheese? Yes. I'm a slut for any smelly cheese. Gorgonzola, blue cheese, anything. Anything. Except for the cheese I tried to use this morning when I was making a breakfast burrito, actually. Um, that was bad and rotten. <laughs> Disagree, I've had some bomb spears. I can't do fried pickle spears. I just feel like fried pickle chips are so much better. So much better. So much better. <clears throat> Here we go, guys. Here we go. Yay! More in construction. Oh, that's so cute. Are they trying to imply that Rumble Volcano is under construction? I actually did not know that in the entirety of since we. We we. Wow. Not being a drift baddie lately. <clears throat> did anybody own a Wii U? I did not own a Wii U. I think I decided to buy a PlayStation when Wii U came out. <laughs> I just was like, eh. But, um, kind of regret not having a Wii U. I might start, like, collecting Wii U. I also have been watching a lot of people that collect, like, retro consoles and stuff, um, on YouTube, and they say that the best thing to collect right now is Wii U. Whoa, I was a little too close to you, boo-boo. Okay! Okay, we get it, you're a superstar! We get it, you're a superstar. Like, <laughs> do you want a cookie? <laughs> ah! Oh my god! <laughs> I feel hilarious right now. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But that's what people say that collect retro games is that the Wii U is the thing to collect right now. So stay tuned, everybody. Um, isn't it kind of weird to think about how the Wii U was like the Switch kind of, but like the Switch is just skinny? I don't know, like, I mean, it's not, no, it's not like, but you think about it and you're like, why did this not slap and hit? And why did they decide to kind of basically do the same thing? Oh god, oh fuck, what am I doing? Whoa! <laughs> it's getting a little hard to drive in Mario Kart, guys, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? Um, sorry, I can't read chat because I'm like too busy being such a good racer, but, you know. Oh my god, if I didn't have the assist, I'd be dead. Tiny, you stop going at the chair right now. I cannot pick you up. I am racing my heart out. Oh, dude. Whoever had the three mushrooms, I just used the boo, and I got your mushroom. Lisa. And I'm so sorry, but not sorry at all. Yeah. I'm supposed to record a video tonight. <laughs> I was too funny, you guys. I was too funny. Spears get sog. 
there's just not enough fried. Like the best part of the fried pickle is the fried part. And it's like, you think about how much breading is on a spear versus how much is on like a thing of chips, you know? Love to have the Wii U. Animal Crossing played a huge part in the Switch's success, in my opinion. I think um, the Switch's success was, I think, yeah, that, that was like a great way to get longevity for the Switch's success, but it was already a very successful console because of Breath of the Wild, I think was like the huge selling point. Fucking Yoshi. Wii U is going to be so hard to come by in comparison. It really flops since it's like the same thing as the Wii, but it'll be hella expensive to buy one from a retro game vendor now. But they say like to do it now, if you're an actual like retro game collector, like to do it now, buy your Wii U now, buy shit. I see Wii U shit all the time. And um, I was like, what is happening? And um, you know, I it's just like the best thing to invest in right now because you're right, like it was bone dry dunes i don't remember what this is uh because it's like it's gonna become like way harder to come across because it's not like it has it was a super successful console that sold a shitload like you're right <clears throat> you got your wii u stolen <gasps> what happened ps vita ps vita but like isn't it weird isn't it weird that like the i don't what am I trying to say here? Isn't it weird that the Wii U was kind of switchy and it just failed so hard? There's so many reasons why it failed so hard, but like, oh my god, like... I don't think it was terrible at all. I didn't own one, but... <clears throat> Anyways, Toad Harbor. Anyways, I'm buzzing. <laughs> A little bit of red wine and a little bit of chicken <laughs> ah, are we okay are we okay as a society how are we doing uh, list pillars list pillars are doing okay in society yes or no I hope that we are <laughs> how am I in first right now god bless Oh, first lap, first place. No, he he. <laughs> Merciless Bunny, hello, how are you? Not, damn. List Pillars, what's going on? We need to have like a town hall meeting. Been at the zoo all day in Atlanta, and boy am I exhausted. Did you see some cool animals? What was the coolest animal you saw at the zoo? See, I just feel like it takes so much longer to go up there. Like, it's so not worth it. I wish I could time that out, though. Oh, shit balls. Oh, shit balls. God damn it. Balls. How many people are in this race? How am I still doing okay? I don't understand. I really don't. I was doing good on coins and then that happened. Damn it, can you just give me something fucking useful? For once, you stupid baby game for babies. <laughs> okay, sorry, I'm getting a little heated. Pumption. Oh, fuck. No balls. No balls. No balls. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. No. 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 No! Stolen, Zara! Stolen! Oh my god! That was crazy. That was crazy. That was crazy. That was a good one. I was doing pretty good. I, you know what? I was doing pretty good. I was pretty proud of myself during the majority of that race, but you know, didn't protect myself enough. Didn't set myself up. Didn't, you know what I mean? Um, okay, uh, this is probably my last one. 
this is my last one and then I'm gonna go eat some turkey taco salad because it's ready right now I think so um cheers cheers to our last game cheers everybody thank you for playing going to Petco do you need anything tiny needs some love actually he's acting like a little baby right now cheers oh shit is it just us three Damn! <laughs> <clears throat> I don't think they sell just collar bells, do they? Probably not. I think you'd probably have to buy the whole collar. You should just go to Michael's. <laughs> Mar, it's okay. It happens to the best of us. My Wi-Fi was ass for like the last two weeks. It's been really annoying. Okay, you guys ready to Yosh? Oh, I forgot this was the Yoshi one. Let me see, I'm gonna try to take new routes. I'm gonna try to take new roads, new horizons. Oh God, I swear I did not let that go. <gasps> I guess I did, wow. <gasps> wow, all right. All right. Walls. Steal one off the collar? Yeah, actually. <laughs> yeah, you should just do that. This is a good song. This song reminds me of the Cracker Barrel. Therefore, it's a good song. Yeah, I would say so. Anything that really, like, brings you back to the CB. The Cracker Barrel. <laughs> Boo. Boo. <laughs> Boo, you will rue the day. Oh my god, what? How did that just happen right now? That was wild. Oh, shit. Things get saucy up in here. Thank you, thank you. <clears throat> Looking at the lion, some loud ass child grumbling was literally screaming, woke the sleeping lion, and the look on the lion's face. <laughs> That's how I feel every time I wake up tiny, because to me, tiny kind of looks like a big cat. Like, his face, he doesn't look like a little, like, kitten cat. Like, he looks like a lion, or sometimes, like, when he's brushed down, he looks like a puma. And I wake him up all the time to give him kisses, you know, because that's just, like, how we do around here. And he always looks like such, like, a scary fucking, like, wild animal. It's so wild to me. Wow, really had to take all of my shells. I had some pretty good shells stacked. Okay, that sucked. How's vegan vegan farm today, by the way? Gonna have to catch up on why I missed. Fuck, how do I not know how to speak? Um, glass of wine, <laughs> that's why. Uh, but vegan farm went really good. Um, we got a couple things. We didn't get like anything like crazy magical from the traveling cart. Uh, but we did start summer, so that's pretty legitness, is we started summer. Bro! No! That was- I thought I was gonna steal that, but you fucking- you did it! You did it! Oh my god, that was awesome, Boosted. Uh, but, yeah, we did Vegan Farm, and, um, didn't- like, nothing spectacular happened, but we're on summer day one. So now we just planted a bunch of summer crops, we're working on yassifying our farm, um, trying to do gifting like here and there, nothing crazy is really happening and trying to keep progressing in the mines. It's been getting kind of hard, you know, to progress in the mines. Justice for the first game. Oh, you're right. You're right. Boosted. You're right. Okay. I gotta go. <clears throat> I love you guys. Thank you so much for playing with me. It really means a lot that you guys would hang out with me with little old me. Um, but I am gonna go eat some dinner and um, have a wonderful, amazing rest of the night. Happy Friday. Please be safe if you're going out and doing crazy stuff. Um, me, I will not be because, well, actually, I don't know. Because now that I've had a glass of wine, I'm like, can I make a video? It makes me nervous to have to do that, especially to like think and like have to use my brain power for a video. I don't know if I can actually do that, okay? So maybe, 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 maybe. Um, Steph, yes, we can. Sorry, I see your thing in my Chatterino. <clears throat> my DMs go straight to Chatterino. 
Uh, but yeah, we can. Um, let me start a raid, a raidy poo. Thanks for hanging out tomorrow. I'm actually gonna be streaming tomorrow on um, this channel, this platform. So I will be live um, tomorrow. What we're gonna do is we're gonna play a little bit of Animal Crossing and then, dude, I have wine mouth. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Anyways, um, but we're gonna play a little bit of Animal Crossing and then we're gonna play Omori tomorrow. So that's very exciting. So I can't wait. I'll see you guys then. Um, we're gonna raid Jules, so please join in on the raid and come play Animal Crossing. Um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow it's gonna be 12 p.m. PST, so like same time um, that we've been going for this week. You know what I mean? Okay, I'll see you guys then. Bye! Wine mouth. Thanks for drinking and driving. I... Cheers. <laughs>